between the three, two of them, okay. they do the same if as the line three, between all three of them. If there are three non-collinear points, then they will come together to be three coplanar. Bam. Oh, the question, right? right? They want you to prove that yep. they are collinear, that they are in fact collinear. They, uh, they would be sides of a triangle, right? Just from looking at it, they would be sides of a triangle. So the lines would go from one point to the other, both of them. So they would be um, end points of lines, right? Now, if they were on the same plane, then they would also be three coplanar points. That is not how you make a mathematical proof, Bev. They're asking you for a mathematical proof. They're after a mathematical proof for some guy who's just put something in brackets. Yeah, yes, come on. He's asking uh, a proper statement oh and a proposition that Jem couldn't come what, up with before. What he's showing by this question, Bev, is that you don't even have a very, very, very basic understanding of Euclidean geometry, unlike the lowest That's level. not Euclidean geometry. There's no numbers in brackets. In Euclidean geometry. Wow. How did he draw Jesus it out? Christ. He just he negated it himself. But Why all of that is described in Euclid's postulates, though, isn't it, Bev? Pardon? All of what's being described there from those collinear points is described under Euclid's postulates. You mean draw in a straight Actually, line? That's, that's, not, that's, that's, not, part of that's not entirely true. Geometry. Euclid didn't have coordinate system. That was invented later, but we impose that on Euclid. In space, yeah. Yeah. and the the uh, brackets, in coordinate I think, system, right? The, Thank the, you. The, the brackets were a function of making this understood. But in there's chat. only there's only two axes in there. No, there's five and one, and and eleven and four. so there's only ben, two. You obviously don't understand the simplest aspects there's of only x and y. So they would be coplanar. That's being funny three. To say that. Can you show that they're collinear? The what a, a, a line between each point? Yes, are those three points collinear? Can you? Can you show that whether or Draw not they out. are? Draw it out, don't yeah. fucker. Do it. Yeah. That's not how you prove it mathematically. Practice, Drawing is not how you do it. Drawing isn't how you do it. Not mathematically. No. No, it's was not question. geometry then, dickhead. Geometry isn't drawing. It's line yeah. and shape and form. And geometry. Right. Goes not inside drawing. it. It's not your crazy ben, you're, drawings, Bev. You're just saying words. Are you admitting, Bev? Are you admitting that you can't do it? Why do you all say that? Are you admitting that you cannot do it using math. using math, algebra? Can you? Are you admitting that you are not able to prove that those three points are collinear? Um. Yeah, I can't I prove that those three points are collinear, right? Because you've not given me an axis or anything. You just I don't think he, under, he doesn't understand the question. In of course he does. About, there are two axes there. He, he, yeah, yeah, he doesn't even understand what you guys are asking. The axes are encapsulated oh in the brackets. The numbers. You guys are asking him a geometry number, level question, numbers. and he doesn't it's have a geometry level geometry. education. Not Why would he understand it? It's shocking, guys. You never this played is battleships. That's the, the level of this. That's the level That's of this. geometry we're talking about here is plotting whether you sunk my battleship. <laughs> yeah, that's that's your guys. That's what they've done. He super chatted it though, so he was paying Gem. So I mean, give him his dues. He right, hey, it. Hey, hey, good hey, hey, and hey, you oh. have no comprehension of it. Okay, yeah. then. Well, you you guys give us the it's answer now. Then come on, so revealing. we can all learn. Very revealing. Um, what? Man, isn't it? No, come on. No, come you, on, guys. Have you admitted that you are unable to answer the question? I said you? that. Yeah, I said there's no axis. There's nothing in it. So you guys okay, show. Can you stop talking for a little bit then, since you can't answer the question? Thank you. No, I, I can even tell you by that numbers that we're we're going to have um, basically an axis that goes from the positive into the negative on our scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's the a minus number in it. Well yes, done. exactly. So it can be below the line. You've obviously never used an, an oscilloscope. Um, it's, it's just coordinates, right? There's a minus number. Obviously. Can you let other people who might be able to solve the problem talk, Bev? Appreciate it. No, I can't. I'm going to fucking hand that one over to someone else. That's where hey, I'm you know, well, So how about this? Can't do it, how about this? How about you make a function that connects two of the lines and then you try inserting the point of the third line to see if it fits. Yeah, you just join all the points up together, right? Make three coplanar. That's not what I said at all. 
not draw them, them on a graph and no, you join no, them all no. like that's what happens again that's not what i said Again, no, I'm, t- I'm telling you, if you, that's what you want to do, you make a graph. You just numbers. said you don't know how to solve this. Would you please be quiet for five again. minutes? I, I have the discuss. mathematical solution, Beth. I have it here. Okay, here it is. I've posted it. That had to be Chucky Brad. Damn, Jim, yeah, you just looked at what I said. Anyone wants to uh, explain that? It's, it's exactly, exactly what, what I just said. said. Yeah, go on. Give us an explanation of it, though. Work, work us through it. Geometrically. It's exactly what verbal, how Verbal described that. You make an equation that accounts for both points, P and Q, and after you make that equation, you see if it includes R. P, Q, and R. If it includes R, then it must be a line that goes through all three. Therefore, they are all collinear. I rest my case. X minus two Y minus three equals zero. Why are you still yeah. talking? This, no. this is this is basic basic math that you teach in junior high school in most places, where it's just finding the equation for a straight line, which you're very fond of since you talk about straight lines all the time, Bev. So all they did is find the the standard equation or one of the standard forms in the equation for a straight line, and then they plugged in the third point. For graph, big fucking that deal. Line. Why do you guys think it's so special? Because Who Bev claims is? knowledge of geometry and just shows that he doesn't even have a junior high level of knowledge it of geometry. Look like geometry. Uh, you could try to frame it that way, but that's incorrect. Well, he isn't. He wasn't able to answer it. Was he? It's not geometry, though, is it? He wasn't even able to understand the question. How do you know what Bev understands? Yeah, you have no well, answers answer that Bev gives. He demonstrated. Yeah, he demonstrated to us what he understood. By the words he says are a yeah. strong indication of his lack of understanding. You're just saying words. You're just saying words. And also with the questions like where are the axes and stuff like that. Just shows you. I don't did say, what's going dude, on. You that just X and a there, Y, dude. you would plot them on the thing. They would definitely be coplanar because there's only an X and a Y axis. That wasn't the question. Yeah, that's a definitely a W for Maslow, that one. Say well done, Maslow. <laughs> It's when he says things like that that show he doesn't understand the question. You guys need a win so bad. <laughs> you have to make it's, it up. I don't think it's a win. I think Bev forfeited. I'm, well, <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking at it now, and I can't. He didn't attempt to answer the question, so. Let's see. You know Six. how to find the equation of a straight line, Bev. Six. Well, I'm looking at one of them. The P and the Q, it travels from five to one, while the other one goes from one to minus one. Then the R goes up from 11. So it goes 5, 1, 11. And on the other axis, you've got 1, minus 1, and 4. So I don't know. Just looking at it mentally, if you were to plot that on a graph, I'm not so sure that whoever's hey actually wrote that. Um, out, like, I'll, I'll have a go at drawing it, yeah. Here, uh, Bev, let me give you something that might be helpful. Try that link. Can I ask you guys a question? No, I'm not clicking any links. You, I know what Anybody, you guys are. It's a math okay, I mean, if you don't want to learn how to you do this, it's fine. I'm offering you the chance to learn how to do this. I'm, I'm going to plot it. It's all right. I've got, got it covered. Who's the math? It's not expert. about plotting. It's about it's calculating it. Calculating the equation that describes the line that connects those two points. My mic work? Yeah, I can, yeah. I can hear you. I was going to ask any one of the math experts, how do you calculate the um, curvature rate of a level surface? What's the formula? You need an assemblage of at least three points in order to form that. If, if the surface is level, isn't every point like zero? Would be on the same datum, right? It, if it's a curved yeah. surface, every point is the same distance from center point i'm asking about a level surface though yes a level curved surface by level definition level. means that every <laughs> point surface. is the same distance from the center point the level. Dude, this is a new argument. but you're mixing you're mixing apples and oranges i'm talking about i'm not surface. yes you are but let's get the definition of level surface back up. oh my god but i'm just asking a question you know what a surface plate is in like machining there's a thing called yeah, a so there's there's this is from a surveying textbook for a college slash university level course. And what you've got there is your horizontal line, 
and then you've got your level surface. You see that arcing line, the level surface comporting with the plumb. Yeah, and when we compare plumb lines together, they are not parallel. Complete and utter nonsense. No, it's not. Simply rejecting something isn't an argument or, or a rebuttal. Like, is that it is complete I'm nonsense. It, you have been it, brainwashed to believe that the bad religion. Right? Crap. Stop it's being brainwashed and using numbers and things that are actually helpful in reality. Please, uh, no, they've got book eleven. It's not in book eleven, so they only only believe what's in book yeah. eleven. So just just rejecting things, Mike, is just is not a rational response. That's an emotion response. That's rubbish, Brenda. How can you say that? That's just utter utter rubbish. Thank oh, you. Yes, that was rubbish, Brenda. <laughs> no, I was agreeing with Brenda and I was showing the irony of me saying that as such a stupid thing that I wouldn't say. How come you say it is level locally? Because that's what the word means. So where do the two locals meet? Is there a is there a fucking degree, 20 degrees, 50 degrees, 5 degrees angle at this meeting? I always prefer the third degree myself. The two locals. It's a curve. It's not a straight line. The then it's the, not a straight line, then, is it? It's a curve. Yeah. And not yeah. a local. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's a curve. I don't understand curves. You have had your minds totally washed by these. Oh, that's, just, shit upon us. that's just an emotion. That's just an emotional response. You're just a car alarm. No, it's not. It's the fucking truth. Yeah, that's emotion. So. You established Brian, please don't yell. Just talk normal. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna do my Brian now. No, Brian, that's utter rubbish. You're just brainwashed into believing all these stupid lies from other silly flat earthers. That's rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. You don't know the truth. This is the truth. Now, you cannot that was have absolutely a locally lacking level. any substance as a comment. You cannot have a locally level that then turns into a fucking curve, you lunatics. Yes, you can. It's true. My it's fine. Tire no, is level you fucking can't. It ain't level then, is it, you fucking asshole? Hey, uh, you know, my, really my bike wheel is, is equal distance in all fucking directions from the hub. Fucking plumb bombs are not oh, fucking hold going on, hold on. with it, Jim. Where are you lot coming from, for fuck's sake? Take a breath, dude. It's just yeah. a science discussion. There's right. no need to freak out like this. All right, you don't have to yell, but try using a level and put it up against a basketball or a soccer ball. You can get a level on every point of that ball. It's curved, can't you? You can't get a level on any of the fucking points of yes, a ball. You can. Absolute lunatic. You can. Of course you can. You can use every point of that ball. I've actually got another level that I want to introduce you to that could be of real use to you, Mike, and it's called volume oh, level. <laughs> I saw that coming from a mile away. <laughs> 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 I did send you the, like the telegraph Bugs Bunny style on the little tiny scooter. Yes, <laughs> God, Mike, yeah. just all this is is definitional semantics. If you guys just stop being so perverse and instead just get on the same page with what the words mean, we'd all be able to communicate. Well, um, their emotional commitments demand that they not do that. Yeah, they've got their. So, own. I've got a super chat from Don Lemon who says, bed, commitment. "Who says Bible Bible does certainly not doesn't fucking bend?" Who hey, says, Brian. "Bev, hang on, guys, just let me do the super chat." Don Lemon says, "Bev certainly doesn't know how to do geometry. That we we have just proved." Thank you very much, Don Lemon. Go ahead, guys. Sorry about that. Go ahead, Brian. That's fairly ironic for somebody who conceives of himself as a ge geometer. Brenda, your fucking lunatic sphere you're living on, is it spinning? Yes. Thanks, Bob. Does it spin Bob. to the point where it deforms its actual, the globe deforms? Yes. Yes. yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. It does. Yes. So it will deform the complete planet, yeah? It's only spinning yeah. once a day, though, Brian. Please keep that in mind. Yes, it's it very... spins 24,901 miles in a day on the surface. That gives you a speed of 1,037 miles an hour at the equator. 
Okay. And how many rotations per minute is that? What's the RPM? I'm not talking, I'm talking to fucking Brenda, sure. What's the RPM? Brenda. I mean, you use RPM in cars, right? Right, sure. Brian? Like oh, RPM? RPM's important in how you day. develop torque and horsepower. Oh, Brenda, five shoes an you hour. live on this ludicrous fucking ball that's supposed to be spinning at a thousand miles an hour at the equator, right? Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Why do you keep calling him Bob? A How many donuts will that take to make a revolution? Like and it's spinning at a thousand miles an hour. And what is How the RPM? Work? Brian, what's the RPM? Let me go back and forth a little bit. Okay. Well, it works because the plane is fucking big. How does a fucking plumb bob hang perfectly vertical if it's on a platform doing a thousand fucking miles an hour round a corner? Because it's doing the same speed. It's fucking ludicrous, you twat! It's a curve. Hey, really Ryan, stop yelling. Get it in your head! Ryan, stop yelling, please. Please, 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 please jump back in. Michael, just settle down, dude. There's no need for this. Fucking plumb bobs could never work on a rotating fucking you earth. You don't want to conservation momentum. Couldn't work you on any speed. You they aren't taking your account. I'm biased towards the momentum, equator. Michael. You aren't it's taking nonsense. Account, Mike, you it aren't taking into account itself. Mike, Mike, settle down. You aren't taking into account conservation of momentum. That's all that you're missing. Count to ten, Brian Mabbitt, please. Just I mean, you don't have to yell. We'll listen to you. We'll hear you out. But no, I mean, you thinking with you lot. I can fucking yeah. tell you some of that is absolute and you just fucking brush it aside. Yeah. Mabbitt, it's, it's one more on a thousand mile an hour rotating Mabbit. fucking frame. Brian Mabbitt, Mabbit, please use your indoor voice. For the same centrifugal force mm. right. that your Earth is being distorted by. It is complete Mabbit. and utter nonsense. Why? Okay, down, Explain Mabbit. why it's Mabbit. nonsense. Open your ears and listen to some other people talk. Can I ask a, a quick question that, that might play to Christ. Brian's strong points? Brian, you, you work on a lot of motor vehicles, yeah? Because you, you talk about um, car mechanics quite a lot. Do you understand how you calculate torque over distance? Oh, for fuck's sake. Does your Earth get distorted by your fucking centrifugal yeah, force or not? Yeah, you have it. Mike, you Does your Earth Mike, get distorted? Yes, it's been said many times, yeah, I mean. yes. Why doesn't it affect anything on the surface then? Mike, Why isn't it having it's suspended normal, it is. It is. towards the south? They or are, the equator if you're in the southern hemisphere. Give him a time yeah. out before oh, start but, yelling. Whatever it is we're living on is not hey, spinning. Hey, Mabbit. Hey, Mabbit. We can, can I easily can I disprove that. For a second? Can I give that? If can it's you not you spinning, back? it cannot be a globe. Mabbit. It cannot you can just be. Okay, I'm going to mute you, Mabbit. It's just I common fucking it. sense. Do you know how to shut up and let people answer you? There is no answer. Your indoor voice. There is no I'm not answer. looking for an answer. People I am telling you, I'm trying to you are, you are, wake you, you are, up from you this are, shite they've put us into. Fucking question. I, I fucking moron. I don't oh, want it. an answer. I don't want Mabbit. your bullshit. Mabbit. I don't, don't, don't want your fucking question. Then don't ask fucking question. You can yell at people. It is you complete can nonsense what they have done to you. Yell, you are probably you very clever you. people, but they have you fucking brainwashed you. He needs a time out. There's nothing you can do. Have you ever heard that shit? Fucking ridiculous in all your life. Okay, Just mute him. Give him a five I minute time out. Let him watch. cool down. Oh, Put him in the corner for five him. minutes like you would a child. Okay, Mabbit, you are muted now. You are acting ridiculous. I probably are still yelling. There are plenty of good answers for all this rancher thing. I'm not going to go into it now, but you just you need to recognize that this is not a forum where you are supposed Mutant. to yell at people and not Again. listen to what they have to say back. That does not make this work. That, in fact, makes it not work. Scott, you sound my all way. right, Scott. No, I don't okay. know if I sound all right or not, but he needs to understand that this is not reasonable behavior. For, for what? You're talking about for this forum or something? For yeah. anyone, Rakia, so no one should be fresh today, right? Y'all are starting. No, no, fresh. we're not starting fresh. It goes for you too, Rakia. You should stop over talking. Oh wait, does it just go for us? Or does it go like for you're everyone? Doing right now to me, 
Like you can't no, let me I'm finish asking a very simple question. No, no, for everyone? Me, like just like Mabbit, because you guys yeah. all have this problem where you can't just wait and have the person finish. You can't just. Uh, is that what we do? You have to always be pretty good at talking. Is that what we do? You're just muting certain people, right? No, everyone does. Just yeah. right now. So everyone that that yells and screams and interrupts is going to get muted. That's your word. Every. I'll tell you the answer to that. Everybody that yells and screams and interrupts and then ignores me when I give them warnings about 12 times in a row uh -huh. gets muted. You got to oh, ignore well. me for 12 times in a but row. But you got to at least start warning people other than us, right? To have that I just happen. warned Mabbit 12 I'm times in a row. Good. And I warned Verbal, too. And right. you know what Verbal did? He said, okay, my bad. And he stepped back and he played, you know, he's just cool for a little bit. And then he stepped back right. in when it was time. That's right, how you no. should do it. Yeah, that's fair, right? That's awesome. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Did so you as long as you're going to be fair. fair. Did right, you know we'll hold you again? to that standard. Standard. Is that Scott you Feech? Sounds a bit different. Show that Scott. When I'm talking, do you do this? Do you just keep talking when I'm talking? Is that Scott, or have you kidnapped Scott's account? Kidnapped? Yeah, yeah. Account. You don't sound like what Scott. You, you sound different, Scott. Account. Kidnapped? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? He didn't say guys, no, guys, no, guys. You just sound different, Scott. You I was sound just... like sound like what though? Did you get your computer back, Scott? No, I don't. Can we go back to oh, the original okay. point here that Mike Hunt said about the Earth distorting, but everybody on it isn't or things, Yo, but what? it actually does. What do you mean we're not distorted? Well, if you're on a equator. And then you and you measure your height and you go to the South Pole or the North Pole, whatever, you'll be a little bit less tall. Okay. Uh, Brenda, Brenda said the water goes up at the poles, right, Brenda? I heard you say that the other day. Um, no, I, I don't. I don't think I said that. I think you Due must. To have... gravity, the water got higher at the poles. You said. Oh, oh, okay. Um, will you allow me to finish my sentence? Um, what I said is that Antarctica, not the North Pole, because there's no mass at the North Pole, at Antarctica is so massive that sea level is slightly higher at that the South Pole than it is elsewhere because the, 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 large, excuse, the, the large mass of Antarctica sort of pulls in some of the water towards it. Wow, could much. that be um, your gravity overcoming the equatorial bulge on the model? Yeah, and by how much and wow. how did you measure it? Well, it's been, that's how they discovered it. It's been measured. Wow, is that like the drop at the bottom where the water is dropping off? I, I don't have no idea what you're talking about. Brendanomics, this is beautiful. No, so you know, this is a fact. It's, 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 it's now. Not like a, it's like a pear shape, but with a pointy bit at the bottom where it's higher than it is wider. So, so Bev, this is a fact. It, it's okay, not so a well, theory. If you say so, Brenda. No, I don't, it's not because I say so. I'm simply reporting the fact. Other sci scientists who actually do the measurements have reported this fact about our world. You can look this up for yourself. That the water's higher. See uh, level. Antarctica. Yeah. Sea level is sea level deviates from the mean at a higher level towards Antarctica because than, of the, than the because of the mass of of Antarctica it, it is attractive and, and pulls it up slightly. Wow, like a meniscus type thing. Not meniscus. A meniscus no, like is a, due to. A meniscus is due to, is is due to um, water climbing the walls of its container. Okay, but this you said it lifts the water, right? In other words, it's it deviates from mean sea level. Yeah, yeah, in in an upward direction. You said it was higher. Simple question: Do you think that the sea level all over the world is level, i.e., the same elevation height? Why don't you ask Brenda well, a question? Mean. Uh, see, no, he said mean. What I mean. He seems to be going through this whole thing of incredulity. Is mean sea level? What, mean sea level? level? Is what? that your yeah. question? I'm just asking a simple question. Do you think, do you think, sea level? Sea level, 
is the same height all over the world. That's so stupid. The, it's mean sea level, right? Even, yeah, yeah, right. even Brenda said mean, but she said yeah. it was above at Antarctica, right? Above mean sea level. Yes, yes. yeah. Right. Yes. Than yes. That yes. Mean, yeah. It's above and, the and mean about... sea level at the equator, Brenda. It was my question. Because we employ the term mean sea level. You jumping what in does and that immediately for, uh, tell us about yeah, the observation. Yeah, he just He's like asking hear direct dog. questions to Brenda. And you're cutting in. Mean means an average. average. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, I don't. Exactly. Do you know that? We have what? it up above it and below it. But, Bev, do you, what, does, what does mean mean? That's what I asked you, Brenda. Average. Is the mean sea level at Antarctica on your model? By right. measured by scientists, is that higher than the mean sea level at your equator? It's a pretty simple question. You distorted what I had said before. No, you already answered. You said yes. Yes, the sea level Antarctica is higher than global mean. <laughs> so that's 23 kilometers higher. What the, about the equator? Uh, equator is supposed to be 23 kilometers higher than the rest of your ludicrous globe. The poles, what about the yeah, it's switched at the poles, right? 23 kilometers. Do you not know your model, Brenda? Do you not know what an element is? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't uh, know. Obviously. Well, yeah, I obviously. Know know what an an element. That's why. Um, Bev, Bev, I know what an element is. A shoe, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you seem to have this little little confusion about things, right? So no, <laughs> now, a shoe is not an element. Oh, now you're well, like, flip-flopping on that. Trees. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's all good fun. Yeah. At least we know where we live. We can certainly put our experiments on shoes. Sure. Uh, and we can certainly come up with hypotheses. It's starting to understand where we live it's not, now. A, it's not a man-made element, though, is it? A shoe isn't a man-made element, really, is it? Well, we don't just do experimentation on elements, do we, Bob? Yeah, I know, really? but, I mean, you don't think a shoe is a man-made element, do you? No, I don't think really. Brenda does now either, do you, Brenda? Not anymore. No, no, no man-made element, would you? Americonium. Would you mind? No, that's what I asked Brenda, and Brenda said a shoe. Uh, I'm asking, uh, Bev, no yeah. man-made element. There's no such fucking thing. Oh, really? I'm very curious. I was, to the I was so surprised that hey, Brenda hey, 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 didn't hey, know hey, what an hey, element hey. was. Oh, Bev, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen the periodic table of elements? Absolutely. Do you think is, all is of those? Is there a shoe? Are, are, is, 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 is there a shoe? Question, yeah. Yeah. Shoe. Is that there? Do you, do you think all? Of, do you think all those elements at the top end of that are naturally occurring or man-made? <laughs> Bev, can you find plutonium in nature? Um, so, so, never been looking, mate. Never been looking. So blue. So blue. Blue. Uh, what? Blue, what Bev is talking about is a conversation back in um, um, Emma UK server, yep. in, in, and he's misrepresenting the conversation. No, I can go and get it. I can go and get under it if which, you want. Un, under oh, which, I, excuse me, under which I was subjected to uh, massive uh, verbal abuse. <laughs> 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 Oh, yes, come on now. At you fucking children, shut up and let me listen to what you guys got to say. Excuse me, I need to be allowed to. I need to be allowed to. Jack like a bunch of goddamn kids. Knock it off. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. How hypocritical that is, Bev. So everybody knows that that we get people like these who who subject me particularly to uh, sexual comments, and I was I was subjected to sexual what? comments, sexual comments by Bev. No, no, no that was definitely you, Brenda. Do you want me to get that one as well? 
subjected to sexual comments by Brenda. Beth and Brenda. other people there. That was you, Brenda. Well, that was, that was, that that was definitely Brenda. That was not me making that was not me making sexual comments. That was you. No, it was definitely was you, Brenda. Hate, um, Are you talking about when you said two D balls, Brenda? Yeah, that's what it is. Two D surface of a ball, right, Brenda? <laughs> Yes, Bow. Yeah, did you get upset yeah. at 2D balls? We know they've been going on about it. Yes, you're making it. Everyone's been talking about it. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I've got another super chat. It's another math problem, uh, Bow. Oh, wow. This, one. this is getting good for you. It must be profitable, okay. right? This is from Maslow. He says. Bev, find the coordinates of the middle point of the portion of the line 5x plus y Dude, equals will you x. tell them? Tell them to stop Intercept doing that. That's not Intercept geometry. X and y. Them. Tell them to stop. They're wasting stop. their money, Jeff. Here we go. Here we go. Well, Bev, let them. I'll put it for you in the chat. Let them fucking I'll spend it. Jeff, I'll put it for you in the chat. Here it is. Can you see it, Bev? You really can't do that, by the way. You really can't do that. Yep. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing it. So, Jem, but you can carry on paying Jem money if you want. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah. It seems to me that me and Bev had a fairly similar understanding of geometry. If I'm honest. What is the middle point? I don't even know. Who is that? The point exactly halfway between the two endpoints. That was me, Bev. Right. Okay. So you're saying you're agreeing with it then? Right, well, well, the the Euclidean oh, geometry is the geometry of reality. I think we have a Nicely similar done. level of education when it comes to geometry, which is not much of one. Really? Are you oh. having like? Do you consider really? that not much? Uh, well, I, I have my ear. Yeah. yeah. You can't solve oh, yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. What I'm about. There, there are very few really topics really I'd say that I'm really that. knowledgeable on. Bev. Yep. All right, here we go, Bev. Here is the solution for you. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Well done. I wrote this out myself, of course, very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> right. Jim is a geometry whiz. I'm definitely call him geometry you, panda. Do you think that's geometry, right? I definitely did not get this from Maslow at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, very, very cleverly done. Yes. Some numbers. Anyone want to explain it to anyone? Well, I want to tell you about the fact that if you look at the periodic table, you'll see an entire section called man-made element. Okay. It's, um, is is Brenda's shoe on, on it? That example mm -hmm. is... Um, that example is... I don't know how little you know about the periodic table of elements, though. My favorite is Rutherf Ru Rutherfordium. I like Einsteinium. Einsteinium is pretty good. No, no, Americurium. Or Californium. No, no, no that's a chocolate donut recipe. Uh, well, I like aluminium. That's not man-made. <laughs> what, 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 what did you say, Jim? I've never heard aluminium. Of this. aluminium. Is that aluminium? Is that new? Did they just find that? <laughs> aluminium. No, it's like aluminum. aluminium. It's just spelled differently. <laughs> yeah, it's almost the same thing. Almost. But all yeah, we, just, we, we just beat you in Scrabble when we use it. That's the only difference. Actually, it's spelled the same. I don't think Scrabble... That's because we go through your bad no, spelling. spelled differently. You spell it differently, yeah. Although if you can put if you can put aluminum down in Scrabble, you've won the game. I mean, that's got. Could you use it in a sentence? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> uh, what a terrible picture from Mike Hunt. No music, Mike. Come on, you know the rules. Has anybody seen Mike Hunt? You know the rules, and so do I. Nah, she's busy today. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that was yet another example of you failing, Bev. And I thought you were supposed to be really good at this. Um, Sean, gee, I don't get that picture. Really the good at what, Jeb? Geometry. No, no. Why are you? Why do you think I'm supposed to be really good at it? What's good? Oh, that impression. Yeah, no, no, I just saying, say I can prove people, that level is a straight it. line on a horizontal plane. That's asking other it. people questions about it as if you are in a position to examine them. No, no. Have you never heard of the Socratic method? It's not 
It's it's you not know about I'm asking about questions. Say, I don't know. You say about how great you are at geometry. You literally no, said that right. Who's who's ever heard me say how great I am at geometry? Bell, I've never Bell, said Bell, that. Bell, yeah, you, said you, must, you must think it. Do you dream about me, you guys? Bell, you me Bell, 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 that you study it and that you are studying it enough to know what the answers to various geometry questions are. You, who who is that? Scott. Yes. Scott, I've never ever talked to you the yes, other day you did you're not saying I said earlier today when, when were you Bev, scott hey when who? were you hey bev when were you scott you 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 you've been on another account bev, right said, were you on another bev, account hey, scott bev, are you on another account now yeah i've not seen you for bev, ages you scott you scott talk. scott you're interrupting him i know yeah. i'm making a point which is these oh, okay you're me, making a point i interrupt okay okay to make a point that i'm interrupting him that was your warning me when, when, when were we talking, morning, Scott? Yeah. I can't remember that. Just, just remind us. Uh, I've not seen you for that. ages. Okay, I can remember saying the other day, I've not seen you around for you ages. Is when you're done, you stop talking after that. Off you go. I've not oh, seen you. Good I'm to so see done. you. Oh, my God. You're still not done. Earlier today, when we were talking, you said to me that you Beat had studied... Your mic is shit. Okay, that's fine. Earlier today, when we were talking, you told me that you had studied geometry extensively. I can't. No, I've never used the word extensively. You did, and no, I said, I did, did you? I didn't. When, when did we say that? I, I and I said, did you? And I recorded, said, did you right? You, you definitely. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I said, did you self-study? And you said, yes, I self-studied. Yeah. I said it's that may be the, Yeah. And I said that may be the problem. Yourself. And Why? I said, that may be the problem. Why? You just really can't stop, can you? It's like a tick. It, it's yeah. a book of propositions, and it lays it all out. I mean, hey, it's a, it's why a, do you think you need a teacher for it? While Scott I'm not, I, can't, I can't hear you when I'm talking underneath you. Yeah, see, he, he doesn't understand these kinds of things. He no, also has Scott, social, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't sound problem. like you understand. He can't, he can't, like, stop talking when other people are addressing him. I can't. Yes, it, it's about you. It's Bob. really a problem, Bev. You need to work on it. Bev, you, you don't understand basic human interactions. Okay. So, what? Go on. What? Teach me. You're going to come up with next, Brenda. Well, one would be not interrupting or talking when somebody else is talking. That would be a start. I think a more interesting question is why do we have more than one geometric system than just Euclid? Euclid isn't the be all and end all. Interesting, that is. That's a good question, right? model, then had to bolster it up with more bullshit. That's why we've got it. Uh, no, actually, we've got it because mathematicians decided to uh, change the the axis and came up with Euclidean geometries, which is spherical and. Um, uh, yeah, you can make up yeah, your own geometry. Just, just right, change right? shit, right? Yeah, just right, change right, right, shit. Make up your own geometry, right? Yes, that's that's how that's how math works. That's what math works. Why wouldn't you? They're tools. Why wouldn't you be able to make a tool? I mean, that's one could actually um. One could even make the argument that uh, actually coming up with these new new geometrical systems, and by, which by the way work is a case of thinking outside the box, which flat earthers are supposed to stand for. Yeah. So I so find it interesting that you guys are opposing this, therefore showing your you know, close-mindedness. They have a religious attitude, right. a particular has a religious attitude towards geometry. He thinks that there's only one true geometry. And people... Reality, yeah, there is. Only Euclidean three space. That's, it. That's all we've got. Yeah, okay, we've got, we've got one more wrong. math question from Maslow. It says, can Bev answer Nick's question? I'll paste it again for him. And it's this one here where you uh, write the following numbers in order of size. Start with the smallest number. <laughs> you, you see that? <laughs> They're getting easier for you, Bev, I think. I think you, even I yeah, can yeah. do this one. Go on, then. You no, do it no, for you've got to do it. Well, they've super chatted in for, for yeah, it to be done. Yeah, but they pay you may as well, to do you may as well help them out with their, really their math that they can't do. Can't you do it? It's so painful. I'm not doing it. I told you that before. You can't do it. Oh, you no, do it. I'm not doing anything 
for right, anything no, that you guys send money in. Uh-huh. Out of the principle of it, right? Oh my god. You can Why do it. Care? No. Someone needs to clip Jesus. that. Um, right, so one of the biggest shocks I ever gave to uh, Bev was describing how we can, in fact, we are allowed, we are permitted to change Euclid's fifth axiom. Bev has an almost religious attitude towards the axioms. He thinks they're like pronouncements from yeah, God. I hope you don't think that's only one, right? Because there's loads of them. I think they only keep one, don't they? Yeah, you can change lots of them. You can change lots of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that invalidates all of Euclidean geometry. When yes. You... Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So it, us having a proof that Pythagoras is true sort of disproves the fact that you can just fuck about with shit. Because you well, can't. Well, that that is that that We're sort that, of that, stuck with it. Bev, that doesn't follow. That doesn't follow. Reality is reality. There's only one. Reality Brenda. don't follow. Well, no, it's when I say something follows, I mean it doesn't follow logically. So it, it is not the case <laughs> that that uh, Pythagoras, the Pythagorean theorem being true under Euclidean geometry means yeah. in some way invalidates non-Euclidean geometry. That's not how, how, how math works. Well, how do you prove stuff like that? What, what sort of proofs do you have in Imaginometry, you know, yeah, 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 right. proofs, like re- reality proofs. You would have proofs under an axiom. Proofs exist under an axiomatic system. Yeah, yeah. So, what's your axiomatic system Just starting off with? The axioms. axioms. Yeah, the axioms of spherical or non-Euclidean geometry. Right. Go on. What are they? Let's go. Well, what uh, in chief they change the fifth postulate. To right, so what are the postulates then? Stop interrupting of and let her finish a sentence, please. So, do you know how non Euclidean geometry oh, came up? Insane. Somebody Googling. Bev, Bev, do, Bev, do you know how yeah, yeah, non Euclidean yeah. geometry can, came can about? Can Brenda answer the question without other people breaking in and asking Bev something? Yeah, Dress, yeah, are they... you the designated white knight today? Yep. Obviously. No, no, I had a question that I wanted to ask for quite a while, and I've been trying not to interrupt people um, because I'm not a rude cunt. When they, so when they right realized when geometry disproved their interrupt. fucking ludicrous ball um, model, they had to come up with some shit to brainwash them. It, it all, Brock, yeah. yeah. Foolish, that unfortunately, one they can't handle yeah, that many topics all at once. An entire, an entire course them, let them finish in the topic. That's not, not just a question. How did that fit? So the only difference between Euclidean and non-Euclidean geometry is the fifth postulate. Oh, right. So why does the um, 16th proposition fail in spherical geometry then? I don't. I haven't you memorized know, it. Do you? Yeah, it's because the second postulate doesn't work. Right? You What's cannot the, extend a straight line, a terminated straight line indefinitely in spherical geometry. Guess why? Because it returns back on itself. It's What's a circle. Postulate? It's a she bit, was interrupted the whole time he was speaking. Yeah. What that guy broke in four though? times. Hey, Rocky, was that M. Scott Veach? No oh, I can't believe it. Hey, it didn't stop sound interrupting, like Rocky. I'm warning you. You're doing like crazy. <laughs> you interrupted Bev. Rocky, what did I just tell you about this? Don't make me no, put you on. No, we couldn't hear you. Were you talking over me when I was yeah. talking, the, when I was answering the question? I think you might have done. You don't stop talking. We could barely hear you when someone over talks. Trying to talk over What's Bev. What's the 16th postulate, Sorry. Bev? What's the 16th postulate? Oh, that has got to be some retard saying that. Is that Scott? What's the 16th postulate, Bev? The 16th proposition, yeah. dickhead. It, okay, but what is it? It's the 16th. Proposition within book one of Euclidean what geometry. Say, if you knew the slightest bit about him again, it, Scott. yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, I've got the yeah. sixteenth proposition from book one, and it says, in any triangle, if one of the sides is produced, then the exterior angle is greater than either the interior and opposite angles. Right. So, does that work in spherical geometry? Hold on. Isn't that 
a different proposition than what Pep That's said. 16 proposition. Yes, Why, what do you think I said? Dickhead, do you know? You said that a straight line has to do with a straight I, line I, I, and the straight and can't work on a straight line. It's a straight line and come back in the middle. I don't know. Why does it fail? Is what I said. It doesn't work. And then why does it fail? But you, didn't, you didn't know the propositions, so you I don't know it's shit about this. 16. I yeah, know it was proposition 16 but that it, you were talking about, Pep. Why do you not know your own sources? It's not failing because of the yeah, parallel line postulate that Brenda seems to think. It fails because of the second postulate. If you knew anything about it, you would know this sort of shit. But you guys. Don't know for call. So, um, V, it's you pretty impressive that you think you do better than basic I, geometry. Is it I possible know, basic, basic to geometry? You don't know, but yeah, not understand basic geometry. And we, we have another super chat. Bev, you know postulate, Bev, and now you just used it five times in a row. He's such a hypocrite, my friend. We have a super chat from Don Lemon who says, Breaking news, Bev cannot do high school math. Correction, that was junior high school math. Anytime it, anyone wants to come and chat about any do? of this stuff, if you think it's high schools, you, you should be able to walk the yeah. floor with me, shouldn't you? We are Anytime you're willing to come. <laughs> are you doing doing that, that, Bev? Bev? You're not. Important. I want to say something important, Beverly. The Euclid, pro the Proposition 16... Is there a, is is there a lady in here? Is, oh, is lady. True. oh, sorry, Bev, 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 I'm sorry. I, I actually don't know what Bev stands for. Beverly um, is also a man's name, by the way, in this country, Scott. Yeah, it is also, it is also a man's name. You don't know so, what Bev stands six, for? Hey, Rakia, you're interrupting. Proposition 16... It is true on a sphere. Yes, you are unmuted. Before you okay. say, I'm you, unmuted. Like, so, hey, did he just say Proposition Sixteen does work on a, in spherical geometry? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's impressive. Why do you think it doesn't, Bev? Because it doesn't. It no, that's not a right. proof. Let me explain why it does. It says the exterior angle is greater than the interior angles. Now, if I make a if I make a triangle on say the Earth, where I have slightly see, larger see than the position, see angle, how it works, Scott. Oh my gosh, it's all uh, it's all wrote down. Do you want me to show? Can you just not interrupt for a second? If I make a triangle on a say spherical Earth, the interior angles will add up to more than one eighty, but the exterior angle will still be greater than all the interior angles. So it holds true. Okay. Oops. 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 Bev proved wrong. Oops. Um, if you guys had done any um, of the learning like we did in the course that we've just been on, university, you'd Wait, know that on. Scott's yeah, just making shit. Why don't you tell me what's wrong with that? Right, right, no, but, but tell okay. him what's but, wrong. Well, rather rather than than Scott, just... Scott obviously knows. I told rather you what's than... wrong. It fails. But no, but how, 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 does how does it fail? Larger than the interior it fails That's because true, of right? the second postulate. You Is cannot it, it extend a straight line indefinitely. In this <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, here's, um, Scott, uh, I'll I'll explain this to Bev right now. Uh, Bev, in geometry, straight lines are great circles. That wasn't an explanation. That's interesting. I'm not explaining it. So that's what he thinks. Two, postulate two states can produce up, a finite beautiful. straight line continuously in a straight line. So we can produce a finite straight line within that triangle. Not because we oh, we put it back into two dimensions. Tree. You cannot because it returns it's back on itself. Bev, stop interrupting people, please. Um, Wait for them so to finish. It, it doesn't. It doesn't say that the line needs to be infinite. It just says you need to be able to produce a finite straight line continuously in a straight line. There is no definition of infinite line. You're adding that. Yeah, I was I was wondering about the connection between those because proposition sixteen is talking about triangles, and as yeah. far as I can understand, a triangle doesn't require an infinite line. In fact, it yeah. 
basically yeah, cannot have an you infinite should um, do all of the so other where stuff is the, earlier, where right? is the connection where is axiomatic. the connection it's an axiomatic. Yes, but where is the connection, Bev? Really, re the connection, the connection really is shiny, that you. Euclidean geometry is in Euclidean three space in reality, and spherical geometry doesn't work. Well, like, okay, that's interesting. So, so let, me, let me ask you: you have no propositions, right. you have no proofs. Let me let me ask you a clarifying question, then, Bev. Um, in a triangle, is there a line that's infinite there is a no? proof that a triangle has only is there in a, in a triangle it's in axiomated. a triangle is there an infinite line yes or no um in euclidean geometry you can extend that's a terminated not straight line the indefinitely question. in a straight line hmm. how does that even count into triangles bev it a triangle has nothing to do in with infinite spherical lines. Geometry yeah. was my you statement fuck up. at the you beginning. Fuck up. You fuck up. You, you complete you fuck up. A triangle doesn't have an infinite line, you moron. Right. Okay. Learn this shit before you try to teach oh you others. Make a claim, Dude, who is that? And then you pretend like it's Ben's claim. What Can the fuck I is please that make a clarifying statement? Bev, you are trying Bev, to educate read something. and recite. There's one sentence I just found. It's, it's you'll find it very interesting. Can I? Let me just let me just have the mic for thirty seconds just to read this because this is incredibly important. You're breaking up a lot. You could not intend to accommodate the yeah, geometry. The mic. If he, hang on, hang on, Scott. You are breaking up a bit. I'm afraid, mate. Shite you're mic. Have a okay, I'll, I'll post it. I'll post it. Okay, thank you. You you okay. sounded okay then. You might be all right now. Well, I'm on a, I'm on a hot spot, so it goes in and out. But if, if I'm breaking up, I'll post it. Uh, yeah, okay. fuck it, terrible. So, so, I was gonna say, Cleary, Cleary, I might point out you sound like shit too. I don't know if you want to go and listen to yourself. But you oh, sound sure like I do, yeah. you sound like you're calling sound in. Sound beautiful, a, Cleary. Sound beautiful. Sound like you're calling in from a yeah, loud and clear here. Yeah. Just turn me up. Yeah, turn me all the way up. It okay, that won't uh, make you sound clearer when you sound like shit. Yeah, I can, can I be heard? Clearly, Hello? Clearly. Mm -hmm. Hello. So Coming through yeah, clearly yeah, here. Clear. Clearly. Ben, clear. I have a problem yeah. with how you're Loud reproducing your postulates. You don't have the fundamental knowledge of geometry at the junior high level, but you want to skip to the more advanced sections of geometry. No, I'm keeping the on the basic there, shit. You're, just you're just keep it on the basic shit. Have, you know, you don't okay, know the how. Let's read... You oh, don't sorry, build a house without establishing the foundation. You are lacking the foundation and yet trying to build principles. upon it. Right, I want to read what Scott uh, posted, which says, I read this and weep. Euclid did not intend to accommodate spherical geometry in book one, or, or he would not have allowed proposition 16, that an exterior angle of a triangle exceeds each of its two opposite interior angles. He did not notice that his postulates allowed he did not notice that his postulates allowed spherical geometry and so failed to realize that in the model of his axioms the relevant median the line segment be in the first figure uh, could be greater than a right angle and there's a so in other words should let Bev address what was the best to him 16, before you started reading that proposition 16 actually makes no. spherical geometry true not that it's violated. Oh, don't it Scott. It. Don't. Don't. That's what the yeah. yeah, Scott, that's Scott's, right. Scott's right. Scott is correct. Scott, Scott is, is definitely Bev. not right. <clears throat> it don't absolutely the wrecks you, Bev. It wrecks you to the core. Yeah, you I like you hope so, but I mean I hope I don't hope that I told you April. Is listening to this because this geometry. would be embarrassing. Yeah, I told well, I'm you not sure of geometry, I'm... geometry, and you didn't have a response. And then I decided to look it up to show you a diagram. And here well, you I just found it, it up. allows for spherical geometry, even further than I thought. <laughs> is that what it says? Yes, that's Quick what question, it says, Scott. I've just, I've just posted what I think is a mathematical proof for um, hyperbolic um, geometry or spherical geometry, or whatever we want to call it. Um, can yeah, you make sure that's a reasonable? Can you make sure that's reasonable, please? Because I don't want to present it if it's wrong. It's reasonable. Thank you. Cool. So 
therefore I will I will accept the view from the more mathematically aware than I and say, well, there seems to be a proof for this thing that you said there's no proof for. Right. Anyway. I don't know what you just said. What was that? What proof was the no it's proof? About, it's it's basically it's a mathematical proof for hyperbolic geometry or spherical geometry. Um, Ooh, which you they're, said didn't they're exist not the ever. same, are they? They're yes, they the are. Same. Hyperbolic and no, they're not the yeah, same. Hyperbolic is non-Euclidean geometry. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. spherical geometry isn't the same as hyperbolic. Geometry. Yeah, but you said everything had to be work with a Euclidean space. Otherwise, there were no. No, no, no I did. It. No, I didn't. I said yeah, Euclidean three space is what we live in. Uh -huh. I said anything else is just a concept. Right. Right. And, right. Right. And, you there, and you said that there were no mathematical proofs for them. That's why you went with Euclid. Uh, <clears throat> geometric proofs, mathematical. So what do you I've mean by mathematical, mathematical proof? proof? Of what? Which is not Where? a Euclidean geometry Where is proof, it? but a non-Euclidean geometry Where, please? Proof. It's posted by me and okay. literally two minutes ago. Chemo, the Sorry, gatekeeper. You have a problem. That he's irrational and he goes on and on. That. No, you, yes. click, you click the link. Yeah, you, yeah. Think, you think that yeah. is a proof of non Euclidean yeah, no, 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 no. Click the link there. Yeah, dude, that the link. Uh, if, 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 if I may just finish this off. Bev, I've, I put I've got the photo into it, it's highly recognizable, and I thought it was funny, and some other people thought so too. The link to the website is just above it. Okay. okay. So that's your proof then, that. Yeah, that's your proof that um, hyperbolic geometry is true. No, that's a proof for hyperbolic geometry. Yes, yeah. Bev. Uh, when you uh, say uh, hyperbolic, when you say hyperbolic geometry is true, what do you mean? I mean, like, do you know what a proof is? Yeah, yeah. right. right. Okay. Yes. Do you know what a axiomatic system is? Yes. That builds up from uh, a again, base. Again, you keep asking me questions. I just want you to read the paper, mate. I don't need you I'm, to go I'm down not, Yeah, I'm not reading me. papers. Otherwise, I'm what I'll not, do I didn't come is I will read, Socratic for you to give me stuff and death. Like, because read what this. you refuse to do is enter into the Socratic method with anybody. Really you you just want to do it over it. Do we want to sort our debate out then? Foolish. A structured debate, right? Why? Why so we can actually do this. So why you don't would I just to debate you on a subject and then say read that because that's not a debate. Do you want to structure I'll, I'll a debate? I will do and a structured we'll go for debate it. with you. I'll do a structured right. debate with you. Yep. I'll happily do it on the rise of the Syrian Empire, um, Neo Babylonians, the Akkadian Empire, um, rise of metallurgy within the Levant in the pre Bronze Age in the Chaldonic period. Okay. All of those I'll debate you on in fucking depth. So okay. what you're saying Shit. is you're talking about something some here today that you know nothing about. I, I don't think I, I know anything. That Rick here. He I doesn't know anything think, about any of this shit. I don't think I know anything more on this topic than Bev does. Well, what? Then why are you <laughs> piping up? Because Bev does. <laughs> because I, I'm because trying to teach Bev you, does. right? I'm trying to show you. The, no, the contradictions that I'm around you. Well, you have to. You have to actually show the contradiction. You just just can't claim it. Can't show no, the contradiction no, of I've, what I've shown a proof. What I believe to be a proof. I didn't even say it was a proof. I asked for okay. other people to validate it because I have. You know, when when I'm a little bit rocky on my knowledge, I want to get some confirmation from my peers because mm -hmm. that's what sensible people do. So, and they said, yeah, it seems to look good. So I'm, so I'm happy. This looks like it's approved. This looks good. It seemed to look like approved to me when I read it. But I Have you ever to some worked through any proofs of Euclidean geometry? Oh, God, when I was at school, yeah. What do you mean, uh, what? What do you mean by proofs of Euclidean geometry? Well, there are no like proofs. The... I mean, the, the, the postulations you can say are axiomatic and no, within the, two dimensions the you can actually see the axioms. fact that they are true statements. And then there's the definition. What, so what is the proof? Get one that are called, you're just going to keep interrupting, right? Or do you want to ask... Right. Oh it's very God. funny okay. that you say okay. that you so should do the want proofs, to keep interrupting when that's the, all you've the, done to everybody, the, Bev. The proofs within Euclid are the propositions. They're the there's a statement, right? No. That says something, and then there's 
an instruction, a that a process that you go through, and then at the end there is the proof. This, the state original statement, is true. That's what proof no, is. no, that's it. What it a proof is is showing that a proposition follows from the axioms, right? And the proposition is the statement, and then at the end you prove that the statement you have just said is true. No, you no, you haven't proven that it's true. You've proven that it follows from the axioms. The axiom, yeah, because it starts from nothing. But it you build everything. It doesn't start from nothing. It starts from axioms. It doesn't start from nothing. It, it starts, starts from, from the, it starts from the definitions. And the definition starts yeah, with, yeah. with a definition of the right. right. Of which has no it, parts. Right. Nothing. So definition right. meaning right. axioms, right? A definition is an axiom, correct? No. A yeah. definition yeah. is a definition. There was a, there was a great, I'm not so sure Brand is the best one for, to be doing this. To be there, honest, there was a great, there was a great axiom formed by Marcus Aurelius in, in his writings, and it was something like "quam stultus est homo," um, which basically is "how stupid is man." And I think we're demonstrating this here today. Right, that's not an axiom. So nice showing that you don't understand what axiom. Brenda Send thinks the definitions, the not definitions, <laughs> are they, Brenda? I like that. What is an axiom, then? Go ahead. It's a self-evident truth. And I would um, say it's a, 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 a self-evident truth to give you an example say, of how one. stupid is man? Um, because we can look at all the things that we've done that we find to be stupid done throughout history. By well, the way, an axiom is a thing to me, like um, two straight lines cannot enclose a space. It's, it's a posh it word It doesn't even need to be human, right? Because you've how got got could you argue something like that? I mean, the thing I is, I would say you can't justify an axiom. That, that is one rule I'd definitely go by. What you couldn't, like, by saying two straight lines cannot enclose a space. Doesn't, like, sort of state to you that it's an axiom because you know I'd what an angle an axiom. is like, I would still they say never can, meet i would still he? say i would say yes that's an axiomatic statement but i would say you mm -hmm. can't justify it you can't justify it mm. how, how why would you need to justify it if it's axiomatic self-evident truth mm. because it because if you justified it it would no longer be an axiom would it no it's just a self-evident truth i mean I think we're at something very fundamental here because, yeah. uh, as far as I understand it correctly, it mathematics understand. actually mathematics actually starts from axiomatic states, statements. So that so it's a statement that you just say. Yep. That you start building the system up. Yes, uh, but yeah. it has nothing. To, it has it has, and you can pick whatever axioms you wish. Uh, yes, yes. If, you, if, you sort of true, if you want so, a true so then, uh, thing, though, you make sure you check your. No, yes. I didn't hear the end of your yeah, sentence then, again. Um, yeah. This is an important. So, I, I think, yeah, I think Pev is uh, mis misunderstanding what what uh, an axiom is, and his um, understanding more aligns with religion. Because oh, religious yeah. dogmatic statements <laughs> cannot be debated, and religious dogmatic God, statements Laurie. are something Why that are you just it then, as Laurie? obviously the true. Adults were talking. But mathematics oh, doesn't yeah. actually work like that. So, Bev, you need, <laughs> to, kind of, you need to look really into whether you're yeah. being actually mathematically rigorous or whether you're just being religious. Okay. Well, I can definitely do that with Euclid, right? We can definitely go over that. Absolutely. So, yeah. I think we should. So the, the misconception, Bev, that you have it, is that uh, you claim that geometry is somehow true in some metaphysical sense rather than in a mathematical sense. Mathematically, we prove that a statement is true by showing that it follows from our assumptions, our axioms. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, right at the beginning of Euclidean geometry, it says the straight line is distance two points. Uh, you broke up. We didn't catch all of that. Um, there's mathematically, a straight line is the shortest distance between two points. Yeah, 
On a sphere, what is the shortest distance between two points? Um, that would be a chord. I know. Oh, on through a, the center. Yeah, yeah, that would be, a, definitely be the shortest distance. Not on a, not on a sphere, not, not on the solid, on okay. the sphere. Yeah, yeah, but that's not what we're talking about. That is what I'm talking about. So a no, straight line. No, no, a straight line, line is the shortest distance between two points. Right, and on a sphere, that's an arc. Yeah, not a straight line. Yeah, it, exactly. It, that's just what a straight line is. What? No, no, that would be an arc, like you said. It's an arc. Right, it's, that's a straight line. Okay, so what's a tangent, Brenda? And what's a chord? So there's a chord on, on a sphere? On the surface of a sphere? Can you have a chord on the surface of it? Not that goes, you can't have anything that goes through the solid, can you? You could have two points right next to each other. Yeah, they, that's what a chord is, right? A chord, you're talking about solid geometry. We're talking about the surface of a sphere. Okay, so what's a tangent then? A tangent is a right angle plane. What? A right angle? No, it's a right line. I'll give you that. It's a right, right. line. It's, it's, it's a right line. line. It's, it's, a, it's a plane at, at, at right angles to, to the curve. Would that have straight lines on it? Yeah, yeah. so that would be like a... Would that be a tangent to a straight line? Like, what's that? I mean, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? You can have a specific language when you're defining these terms. They actually have specific meanings. So, it's not me that's got a funny sound. So, Bab, so Bab, so Bab in, in spherical geometry, a straight that, line... Is that you, Brenda? I'm going to have to tell what, you down. What? Is what? Bad sound. I don't Stop talking, Bev, and let other people respond to your questions and comments. Thank you. Well, that's an interesting point. I mean, what, what's your definition of a tangent line, Bev? It's a straight line. That is yeah, not the complete it's, definition. But it's, but, it's, but it's more than that, isn't it? It's a straight line that touches a curve at one point and one point only. Okay, right? so how can, you, how can you have a tangent on a plane? Well, is that what you're saying? I'm asking the, you. Um, the surface of no, your I'm sphere, you are you question. saying that's a plane? No, I'm asking you a question. Question: okay. How, if a tangent line requires to touch a curve, yep. yeah, how can you have a tan something tangential to a plane? You can't, can you? you? You can't. That would be ridiculous to say that you could have a tangent to a horizontal would would yeah, be and, and, more ironic. You could have a straight and, line and, that and, runs and, through one point. It would just be a vertical line to that plane. And in surveying. Do they do they class the um the, the horizontal where you're surveying from the plumb a tangent? No. <laughs> Why would they do that? It's it's just a level, isn't it? It's just a horizontal because it's an even altitude. Level? It's not even touching oh, a surface. Level is not horizontal. That'd be there ironic go, yeah. to be calling it a tangent. A level is not horizontal. It's not a, a horizontal isn't a tangent. Definitely not. No, no, um, no, no horizontal way. would be tan horizontal would be tangent to the curvature of the earth, wouldn't it? Sorry? Horizontal would be tangent to the curvature of the earth, wouldn't oh, it? You mean ta tangent to a two dimensional surface? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay. But I thought you there just you, said you can't you have a tangent to a, a straight line. No, we said we said a flat plane, not a curved surface. Yeah, two two dimensional surfaces. You said, yeah. You mean <coughs> no? Yeah, you did. No. Yeah. No, we surface said... of a sphere is two dimensional. Yes, of course so, it is. Yeah, so you've got to have a tangent to a two dimensional surface. Yeah, that's not hard. Why do you think that's hard? Okay. Well, like a plane surface is a two dimensional surface, isn't it? Yeah, the so surface and, of a sphere is also two-dimensional. He's just said that you can't have a tangent to a horizontal, like a horizontal plane is 2D. Yeah. And you can't and have the a tangent. surface of a sphere is also two-dimensional. Wow, that's a good one. Nice claim. They've been playing that this so game. In, in surveying, if you're 2D going to balls, the height of an object... Brenda Bev. got upset about that. Don't be Bev, saying that. Bev, Brenda Bev, thinks Bev, you get... Bev, stop talking. Actually. Come on. Bev, let other people Bev. talk. So... 
if you were going to calculate the height of something, wouldn't you use tangent? It's going to calculate the height of something. No, I just yeah, measure yeah, it. Use in surveying. Just, I'd, I'd in measure surveying, it. If, I'd if measure. I want to, yeah, it is a measurement, isn't it? You know, trigonometry is a measurement. No, trigonometry is a mathematical function. A measurement. Mm, it's like a prediction, isn't it? That you use some measurements. Well, I, I, I would say it was axiomatic. The other. A axiomatic? If you want to go back to the Euclid, yeah, it starts all the way from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so again, so you're not going to argue the fact that the basis right angle, of trigonometry, the, yep. the, the basis of trigonometry is yep. an axiomatic thing. And yep. We use that axiom the same way as we use Euclid to Brilliant. show things in. In reality, yes, um, you know that. Therefore, proving the value of that axiomatic statement, and I go back to my question: when we're measuring, when we're looking to calculate the height, we're going to use a tangent function, aren't we? Yeah. So what we would do is we would get a, we would need a distance in order to calculate. So the distance would be horizontal. That's because it's the shortest distance between two points. Mm -hmm. A horizontal distance now if it goes above or below that horizontal in the distance we form a right angle triangle don't we because the perpendicularity of the triangle at the end the horizontal plane and the vertical at the other end if there is a drop or rise from the horizontal we then form a triangle that's the tangent function isn't it then yes we can use that function mm -hmm. right to notice a drop from horizontal mm -hmm. mathematically right but also in reality yes and and that that's one of the ways that we measure the curve so al Biruni, when he we did measure his a curve sorry how do you measure when, a curve from... when when yeah, when al Biruni, grade when al just Biruni, explained a grade al Biruni, when al, run away. I'm, the same yeah. I'm trying not to run, run away, away I'm, finish my, I'm trying to finish my point but obviously it's, i'll wait i, for I you like guys this one calm down. if you want to do al Biruni, i can do that Please allow, like please allow miles. Drust. How long is it going to take please, you to go? Please allow miles. Drust to continue with what he was saying. He was reaching a point. Yeah, good. Yeah. Go on, carry on, Drust. I wonder why Cleary interrupted him multiple times to say he was running away when clearly he was. Yeah, to... look, he's, he's quiet now. Is he gone? Yeah, we were just going on about measuring a, a triangle from a horizontal and if a you're vertical, going 80 like miles a drop or hour, a raise. How long does it take you to go 80 miles? I remember that one. Yeah, looks like they don't want to answer it. Hmm. Mm. Right, so these right angle hmm. triangles. I thought they were just, suspicious. It's almost like they're You muted me. Completely. No, we hear you, Bev. Okay, we hear you. Just, just you don't want to, to um, avoid the question, right? He's trying to save. He's white knighting for foolish. Just you, you don't want you don't want to answer the question. What was the question? Is that what it is? You've just how right. if you're going? Have you, have you been listening? Have you been listening to the conversation we've been having? I don't think how so, long would it take you? Know, why do, you know, is, is this oh God, like a, yeah. if you got a child's question or something? Ben, like, like, why do you come in with that? First, you didn't hear it the first two times he said it because you were talking. Okay, go ahead, Lewis. Why would you ask such a stupid question? If you're going Who's 80 it? miles, are you asking me this? Are you asking me this question? Lewis? He is okay. Wait, go, on, go on then. Sorry, I, you just came in miles. asking a question. You have to be quiet. There's a lot of in here. How many is there? How long would it take you to go 80 miles? Yeah, that's. The dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Well, you Good know, job. I don't hear anybody answering wow. it. No, I'm what giving, is, I'm giving all of you guys a chance to jump in. Like, you don't want me to be the smart. He asked you the yeah, question. I, I think, <laughs> you know, I think you guys are running scared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely, Louis. Definitely. 80 miles an hour, man. That's how fast. Does it yeah. sound like uh, you're trying to avoid a question about triangle? These are excellent That's answers to this question. Oh, my God. At all. Yeah. Well, very good what's the answer, well, Bev? Bev, what's the answer? What's the answer? The answer is that a measured drop from horizontal no, 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 would no, be no, negative. No. What is the... <laughs> a different oh. question. So Bev, you cannot Bev? answer the question, Bev. Bev, what is the answer? 
they got stupid on us. Just go ahead. Yeah, and it, it's, it's, it's a simple. Really, really, it's a yeah, simple. Yeah. It's very yeah. simple. But go ahead and answer it. Go ahead. You, yeah. you can phone a friend. You can ask the audience. You can fifty-fifty it. I mean, you have some options. Yep. This is not if you're going to a friend, don't yeah. phone Cleary because he already this got is, it. Uh, what, what is the answer to that? Flat Earth and more, where people just come in and ask really I'm stupid damn thing in an questions. Hour. Yeah, but what's the answer? Nobody thinking shit. What's the answer, Bell? Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy knows the answer. I do. Hey, you know, I, I was just joking around, but man, you guys take this to a whole new horizontal. <laughs> why, why, would, why would anyone even answer such a silly question, though? Like, where you came you out of the answer, Jeremy? That, that was of worth the hour. Okay, say it then. If you're going 80 miles an hour, how long does it take you to go 80 miles? Don't yeah. answer it. That's is not that the, the answer. No. Is that the question? Yes. yes. Yes, that's a question. Just don't answer it out of out of spite, Clary, because it's not. Yeah, the kids are struggling with it. No, don't don't tell them. Don't tell them. Never answer? know. They'll never know if you don't hey, tell them. Stop, stop white knighting. Be wondering for years about that one. Don't tell them. <laughs> I mean, Clary's just worried you'll get it wrong, like he did, Jeremy. Uh, so, well, Jeremy left, and secondly, Jem, didn't they harp on you for not answering a question two hours ago? Yeah, they went, and now oh, they won't answer a question. How hypocritical! What does this question have to do with anything, though? It, it establishes a base level, base yeah. level of intelligence or lack thereof. Base horizontal. It's essential that it's answered to so continue bullshit, the debate. Jim. Jeremy yeah. ran away from the question yeah. as well. I didn't Super ran away. chat, get some, get you some more money it. in, Jim. So get okay. some more if money you in. Don't we'll, answer it, Jeremy. We'll think it's about okay. it. Just say, you know, you don't even. Know. Jeremy, Jeremy, you can ask your kids for help if you yeah, need it. Just answer. engage, and we'll understand that you. Who's bringing it. family into it? Answer. Why? Why is Why is anybody doing that? I told them he this could is, phone a friend. He can ask his kids. This is super That's only simple. Fair. I don't know what the why we're even asking silly questions like this. So <laughs> well, much vagina, and so much crime. Because none of you have answered it. It's, yeah. This is like it's retard shit, though. Why is this even being allowed? <laughs> the answer is only two words, and the fact that you guys are all trying to avoid the answer is ridiculous. The answer is why do you, you hide behind the name there? Mm. 40, 42. I, I, bet, I bet SE. I bet SE genuinely does not know the answer. Uh, he Bobby just answered. He thinks it's 42. Yeah, he got it wrong as well. That's clearly got, an You guys got have got wrong. the guy that measured plumb lines not it's being not you know, get it right. here. Guys. Just to show that we look silly. You know, just to make us look silly. Wasting get this time. Come on, I'm not you... answering it to make you guys look silly because it's such a silly question. But it would make us look silly, wouldn't it, if you could answer it? No, it... no you asking the question and making this big deal out of if it uh, makes you look uh, really well, yeah, times, times, you've got it wrong. Straight line. Clearly well, well, said 80 know. miles an hour, and SE said 42. 80 miles per hour. So you're not you're not doing that well so far. Did you right? just say it was 80 miles an hour, Jim? I said Cleary said 80 miles an hour. That was his I question. I clearly said you say SE SE said 42. SE was joking, just in case you didn't catch yeah, it. Yeah, no we all know you were, <laughs> we all know you were joking. The right I, think he, I think he was serious. I and we all know he that not if you guys have answered it You only get one go each, by the wow. way. Wow, so, yeah, so yeah. Cleary and uh, SE are out of it now. I, just, are you yeah. traveling in a straight line? Are you traveling in a straight line? It's just Jeremy and uh, <laughs> Bevan. Clearly, now, they're trembling on a straight line. Bevan, instead of talking, yeah, instead of yeah, talking are you about traveling the, in a straight line? Instead of talking about the important shit, they want to ask dumb quiz uh, second grader questions. Yeah, that's yeah, why they, they want to do it, Jeremy. It's pretty obvious. Questions I'd rather, there are other questions I'd rather address. Hey, nobody is answering it. Hey, no, nobody is answering it. up. Super chat. Yeah, 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 the flat earth. The answer is 60. Let's move forward. It's not 60. It's not 60%. It's not 60. You want to bet, you want a bet it's, bitch? It's not. You yes, I'll bet. Yes. All right. 60 minutes. That's the answer. Suck a dick. Oh. 60. You said 60, though. Yeah, 60. Whoa. I didn't give the unit. 60, 60, 60 minutes is the answer. Not 60 minutes is the answer. Not yeah, 60. 60. You kept saying 60 is again. not an answer. 60 is the yeah, incorrect yeah. answer. Give them this prop. It's yeah, one recall, incorrect man. answer. 60 is the incorrect, incorrect answer. You didn't put the correct um, um, units of time. Just yes, you know the units. units. Doesn't mean I got That's incorrect. Important. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
question, but Brian, you know, in, third in third grade, in third grade, when you don't put the units down, you get the question wrong. And that yeah. 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 is we would already use a different unit Unison. in the question, so it would be exactly. incorrect. In second yeah. grade, they gave Unison. me a triangle, Unison. a circle, Unison. and a box, Unison. and they told me place them the somewhere. The question was hours. Fine, the yes, robots yes. win, but hours. you're less pretty. Right. The robots the question have to be was, in hours. How long does it take to get to eight miles? Make it in any unit you want. They're all equivalent. So anyway, to bring you up to date, percent clearly under SE of all the percent. Yeah, right, bitch. You lie. You got Jeremy and Ben left. And Rick here. You lie. I say. I said eighty oh, there. We didn't leave. I'm not answering. I don't know why. I, why I would answer such a stupid little first grader question. Why would anyone would even ask it? Well, you well, know, it's the first, it's the red herring away from the real shit. It's been it's been revealing so far, though, hasn't it? You know, you would have thought you all very just revealing, right. Jim. Very revealing. Uh, yeah. I and bet yeah. Coco can't answer the, the question either. Jim, everyone gets it right. Come on, guys. This yeah, is but, I mean, look, just think about it. Like everybody knows that if you're going six miles an hour. You'll go sixty miles in one hour, and you sixty know, miles per hour. Like it's easy. Sixty is easy. It's like boom, yeah. I'll go sixty miles. It's in so one stupid. Hour. You're going but eighty then, miles in an hour. But then you complicate things with eighty, yeah. and it's oh whoa, whoa, we're going eighty whoa. miles an hour. How how long is it going to take us to go eighty miles? An hour? Is there any elevation change? Is exactly look, y'all like, are you going in a straight line? line? I, gotta fight. I gotta fight for the oh, mic to oh, have more intelligence on it than this. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Well, well, yeah, well, one of y'all's yeah, voices. Think, That's proving you think, can't understand the question either. Do you think we should stop having this conversation and continue to have the one that we've been having for five hours, which is an <laughs> argument about the definition of a word? No, which I you haven't defined we should, yet. We should grow up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the that word is straight, straight line. line. Jeremy, what about in the circle? Line. If you're not in the circle, you're an agent. You're a dumbo clown agent. And leave definition of that more open and interesting conversation than the one we've been having. Oh, Kosho is Kosho wants to know what the question was. Uh, it's if you're traveling 80 miles per hour, how Maybe long is it going to take you? How long is it going to take you to go 80 miles? And none of them could answer 60 it. minutes. <laughs> but that wasn't your answer. Yeah, it was I 60. It was no, it average. wasn't. Yeah, that was your first answer was 60. And that was wrong. Yeah, 60. The, yeah, the, the unit is implicit. After I'm sorry, I have to take your first answer. The unit is not implicit. Right. Yeah, yeah, none none of them they they would have said, could you meet me the second time? I think None of them answered it. Question. Jeremy couldn't wow. answer it. The, the other guy couldn't answer it. R Rakia couldn't no, answer it. Hold on, it. retard. Hold on, Louis, retard. I didn't answer it because it's such a stupid fucking non sequitur bullshit red herring question. Yeah, see, point. he can't answer yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 I have a I have a good as it gets. This is it is a weaving. Do we start with an under or an over? Hey, see? You see that, Kosho? Not a single one of them could answer the question. Uh, That's Lewis, it is. Retard. In basket okay. weaving, Lewis, do you start with an under or an over? To be honest, yeah, Flatters, give them he's another question. Lewis, you, see if they he's fail positioning again. you quite fairly compared to how we attack the globe. He's saying, look, can you not answer this question? So you can establish a pattern. That's, that's, that's actually a fair position. Mm. And in basket um, weaving, by the way, um, you start with making the frame and then you weave into it. So that's the first thing you need to make the frame for your basket. Welcome back, foolish. So uh, I, I'm more interested. I'm more interested. Gardening. No, I'm more interested in how Bev cannot understand uh, spherical geometry. That interests I put, me. I put this stuff in the uh, debate chat box there if anyone really? wants to have a listen. Jet. Yeah, Bev, I mean, it's not like you were going to fight for new geometry there for a minute. We were talking about Proposition 16 and all this, and then it just got a more, bit more sexual. Why can't you just conceive? More sexual comments from Bev towards me. Are, are you hot on me, Bev? Um, you want to have a listen to that, Brenda? And are you, you hot you, on me, you, Bev? You might remember. You have, you have I don't know sexual, you were drinking that night. Are you have sexual feelings towards me, Bev? Is that it? it? Here we go again. Because you make, constant, you make constant sexual remarks about me. It's too I'll deep old, Brenda. Yes, you make, you make constant sexual. You make sexual remarks about me, Bev, all the time. No. I, yes, yes, you do. Definitely not. You've been Absolutely posting. It. You've been posting. Not. You just posted it. You just posted it. 
That that was you. No, that was you. Two D making a sex make. Too yes, clear. yes, make it. Yes, making something sexual. No, which was no, geometric. nobody else. We did. That's we new making earlier. it sexual. Did anyone else find that two dimensional, uh, three dimensional surface of a sphere sexual? Anyone? Man, fuck off. Beth. To I communicate, man. Two dimensional. Faces the surface. The, kind of weird. the surface, Bev. The surface of a sphere is two dimensional, right? Yeah, it's not. Wrong. That's not sexual at all, right? You're yes, and that. you and made it. That. You made it sexual, not, didn't you? Not two dimensional. It is two it's dimensional. Not two dimensional. Oh, a ball it is three is dimensional. I didn't yeah. say that. I said the surface. The surface is two dimensional. Brenda, what? Brenda, what, Brenda, what shape is the surface of a sphere? The surface of a sphere is two dimensional. What's the shape, shape of it? Good question, of Clary. Good question. It's not a good question. It's, it's, it's How do not, you measure surface area of a sphere? What shape is the surface? That's not the question. How do you that's measure the, the surface area of a sphere? That's a great fucking question, Clary. It's measured in Brenda units squared. Square. No one can answer that. No three D objects have volume. No one. We're talking about three D objects have volume. We're talking about the surface, though. Wow. Right, but 3D objects have volume. Correct. Now, if he's saying that the surface is 3D, I'd like to know the volume of the surface of the sphere. It's, it's a what surface of something curvature. No, surface, guys, surfaces are 2D. You have to cut the ball surface. It's one face surface open. Surface is area, Don. A 2D the surface is, is, is saying surface is, is area. That's kind of the point I was making, Kurt. 2D, Don. That's too fucking D. Aaron, I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. Why are you, mad at me? Why are you mad at me? Because of what I heard you say in response. The surface area is measured in units squared. I said 2D, didn't I? I said you cut, open, you cut open the face and lay it flat, and then you do it. You measure the area. Can someone ask Don this 80-mile-an-hour well, no, question? No. I'm completely right. That, that's not how you... If, yes, it is. If you have a answer. cube, you cut open on along the, the edges, you flay it flat, you do area. The same way if you had a ball, you, that's essentially what you're doing. Yeah, you have a better, is a I don't know this. Surface. I don't know the formula to calculate the surface area. Of the, I don't know the formula, but essentially that's what you're doing is you're laying the surface pi r flat. Squared. It's 4 pi r squared. That's that's the formula. Ooh, the square the means two-dimensional measurement. Yeah, it's a two Look, I'm agreeing. Okay, but flat earthers, y'all thought y'all were about to clown these guys on saying this because y'all think a surface of a ball is I'm always got to be down on it because you can't use your yeah. imagination to cut it open and lay it flat. Yeah, yeah. I, I let other people talk, Rikia. Maybe you're confusing that for backing down. I stand by my statement. There is no volume to the surface of a spear. And I you're backed retarded. her up. Good I, everything I said wanted to yeah. agree with her. What shape is the surface of a sphere? Flat. Shape ah, talking about shape. <laughs> 2D, is it? 2D shape is, shape is not the question. It's an it's abstract, abstract shape. Irrelevant it's question. an abstract it's shape. Brain. It's an abstract squiggly spaghetti shape, or however the fuck well, you there's clearly you a shape in the question, well, you know, the surface of a sphere. So first, let's figure out what shape a sphere is. It's a spiral line, if you want to be technical. You said that earlier. I didn't understand when you said that earlier. He's spiraling. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can clown all y'all want, man. At least, we, what have we learned? We learned the awesome joke. Yo, uh, you got to be horizontal with it. Yo, how did you say that joke earlier? That was the best one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we we are sort of agreed that two D is a flat plane, right? Okay, fine. Does anybody you got to go prove it to me, man. There's prove no it to curvature me. to a two-dimensional. You got your money. You got that's your not true. Money. That's not true. Surfaces can have curvature. Of course they yeah, can. But they wouldn't be 2D then, would they? Because 2D y yes, is a plane yes, surface. No, I'm sorry. You're wrong. Two-dimensional surfaces can have curvature. No, they can't. They, they would be using right? the third point dimension, point, surely. No, they just curve. The elevation they are then 3D. You couldn't no, have a curving flat not. road. Are you guys ridiculous? You can't have a 2D curving flat road. Where are we right now? That would be an elevation change into the la, third la, dimension, la. dude. You've got a third dimension. dimension. No. No flat earthers are allowed on here unless they go through me. For, we need a side flat earther room. 
and I'll check them all out for you guys. Y'all should do like 24 7. Y'all shouldn't even We're let them We're just talking up. about reality. I think, here, I right? think you're getting spiraling. In, in order for a, a, a space or a shape to have a third dimension, you have to be able to travel that third dimension without leaving that space. You can't do that on a surface. Length, breadth, and height, right? In reality. Hello, I'm new. I just wanted to say that uh, geometry geometry mm -hmm. agrees that the Earth is a sphere. Just saying. Just wanted to introduce myself. Say good morning. Well, Happy you listening. Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome. If you got welcome uh, you, your bro. mate geometry said what? Hold on. We always like to welcome it, a new thank people. Thank you. Very thank welcome you. to you, Jose. Yeah, it's nice one. I appreciate it. Yeah, geometry agrees with the humanity that geometry is that your dog? Earth is a sphere. <laughs> it's what proves... you two hours called geometry. So that geometry you... proves Earth is a sphere. Uh, it's all right. I just was I just was pausing while Bev interrupted for for that five words that I needed to say. But Bev, it's to weird, dude. It don't you go needed. down like like, dude. Chemo tries to at least do like like you know the fantastical dancing arguments. You just up in here acting like you don't want to learn first grade math all the time, bro. Who are you? He's dumb. Who are you? Oh, yeah. I'm the guy that got your dumbass question right in your fucking, fucking nobody, YouTube, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking nobody, right? Yeah, I'm a nobody, and I'm still gonna yep. tell you that. Get your fucking nobody that knows nothing. Faceless, nameless, mind. internet potato, None of little, talking, right? little shit talker, internet tough yes, guy, right. talking plenty of shit because y'all ain't saying nothing. So y'all ain't well saying nothing. I'm all cool and shit up um, in here. Oh, I'll, have I'm a, a cool I'll, guy. I'll put my head on top. I'm a guy who wants to see the flat Earth. How about that? I don't think you want to see yeah. it. Yeah. I don't think you what um, fucking flat earth are you talking about? Exactly. Exactly. You don't Is want somebody to. saying I did a racist comment? Who who's that? What's that? I want, want it to be real, dudes. Y'all are just clowns pretending. Bev is casually like, joining flat. in with the racist remark. Maslow, who's that? What what was the racist? Please tell us, guys. I don't want to be racist to anybody, but what, Maslow paid for country? you to answer a question, Beth. Maslow paid for you to answer a question you didn't even answer. Wait, is I that racist by not I answering um, super chats? Is that the racist comment? A racist remark? What, Maslow? Please, you're not saying anything. I'm asking. You ain't saying shit. Uh, is what? Maslow is explained what? it. Is, is, Maslow is explained it, Beth. Maslow explained it, Beth. Oh, I said Maslow. I said, has Jose got a chihuahua called? Geometry. That's not racist, is it? Asking people's if they've got dogs of a name. That can't be racist, surely. You know, you know what you said, Bear. Fuck up, you prick. No, but PC is funny. Do they do PC in other countries? Is that like seriously? That? I don't wow. Asking people about the names of the why, why was it a Chihuahua then? Because he's oh, got yeah, chihuahuas, hasn't he? Y'all seen this? Has Jose? Jose, have you got two hours? I don't want to be. I don't think you can be racist against dogs, can you? Okay. Well, why is the guy in in the chat saying that I'm adding to racist remarks? It's surely that's really badly confused. It's not your fault. You don't know the difference between Mexico. You call Jose Chihuahua. That's why. Who does? You guys do. I don't call Jose Chihuahua at all. I have called Jose Chihuahua after he right. called is, me garbage. Is man. that racist <laughs> because Jose me. has a Chihuahua? That's on me. No, Jim. let's bring Jose. Jose, come to the mic. Yeah, Jose. come on, Jose. Let's let's have this out. It's a, it's a pretty go. hard time. Yeah, to come over to his uh, all right, I'm in the, I'm in here. One time, okay. I called Essie Montreal garbage man just for fun because uh, he's one actually time. A, is One that time. racist? One. Okay, let me. I, I that was five words. One right? million. I, I don't, yeah, you lied in five words. You guys talked all over Jose. Yeah. Now, Jose do we, we all know he's not qualified friend. enough to be a garbage man? Why would you say such a lie? <laughs> okay, so I believed that he was a garbage man. I called him a garbage man once, and what have happened after I called him the garbage man was he have call me chihuahua he said like oh look it's chihuahua hey chihuahua hey chihuahua come on chihuahua with the mexican oh kind oh, of tone he have done that for 50 75 100 plus times when i called him garbage man once he decided to now call me chihuahua from now is that on racist, that is not Jose? Is that yes, racist he's racist, racist. Come on, come he can he could have called me he could have told me chihuahua once he could have told me twice he could have told 
me ten times, but not with the Mexican you, tone that you he does. You do have to be right? that him. starts being racist after him. many times that you keep repeating and trying to stop an argument. Trying every time I open my mouth, ah, Chihuahua, look it's at a, this guy, come on, go back to where you came from. Yes, that's racist. Okay, SC, SC. A dog isn't a race, is it? I see. No, about him. him. Come oh, on. Okay. Me, so I explained myself I because Bev kept interrupting. Me. He didn't even listen to what I say. So maybe Montreal will explain himself whatever the fuck. I couldn't give a fuck about none of you. None of you mean nothing to me. It's yeah, funny. It's, it's that, entertaining. It's but but none of you mean nothing to me anyway. So. Yeah, We're all ahead. nameless, faceless internet potatoes. Yeah. I thought uh, Canadians weren't allowed to be racist, Essie. You, st let, you let start being somebody that. and something to me when you come and stop in front of my house, shake my hand, and look in my eyes. That's when you are a real person, a real somebody. We're stronger than not real fight. people. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We know. Let me respond to that. That was not meant as a racist statement. And if Jose never calls me garbage man again, I promise I will never call him Chihuahua again. Not that I give a shit about him. Because I really don't, <laughs> just for my own principles. That's very I could call, you, I could call you garbage man 200 more times and we're even, you motherfucker. There you go. That, that didn't <laughs> take long, did it? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I could Let call you out. garbage we'll man 200 times and we'll be even because that's the time you'll be calling me Chihuahua after I called you <laughs> once. Yeah. Yeah. Not once. And let me remind you, live, you said, hey, hey, SC, I hear a garbage truck there. Right in front of my yes, house, is that you? Yes, you piece yes, of shit? I did that. that yes, was I did that. Yeah. So does people calling you Chihuahua upset you, Jose? No, it doesn't we, upset me if you call me Chihuahua once. If you call me Chihuahua, if you call me Chihuahua twice, I don't care if a hundred people call me Chihuahua one or twice, but every time that I open my mouth in this room and Essie Montreal is here, all that comes out of his mouth is Chihuahua, Chihuahua many, many times <laughs> day after day. That is, argument, argument, that is something different, yeah. you see? Yeah. I like this. Um, um, it's an argument, it's not racist, is it, Jose? Can we, can, we, can we nip that one in the book? How is it right? not racist? It is Why racist. racist. Yeah, yeah. It, it went from wow. being... You asked me a question, babe. It went from being no, it, it wasn't racist. I opened my mouth and said, that's not racist. He called me Chihuahua. Yeah, it's funny. Now, it's racist. The way he's doing Why? it how, are insistently. How does it it is racist. Bev yeah. doesn't I understand. Does that that it's racist. Yes. Bev doesn't understand social cues. So I, to him. I, I, I will be honest with you. I, I have the never in gamers. all my interactions with Bev ever heard him say, anything derogatory about someone else's race or ethnicity and I, I will defend him on that and i don't think he meant it in that way um i think se has taken the point on board and i'm sure that he won't use that term in the so future do you think he, I think no, he can do what he wants yeah, calling I people do, by I, the name that they have let's, let's for look, their dog if, if is racist now. Like wow. that's all the time Ev, in this country in this country one form of racism is throwing bananas onto a football pitch. Yeah, because you are a doesn't, doesn't name a race. It doesn't mean that people are, 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 are discriminating okay. against bananas, does it? But if my mate Dave's got a statement. poodle and I call him, hey, poodle, that's it's, not it's racist. It's racist. It's racist. It's racist. It's racist. Okay. Dehumanizes no, Americans are very sensitive, Bev. It dehumanizes a bunch of people. Yeah, understand. It, it, You've got to be very careful with names. It, why am I having to talk over people? It dehumanizes a bunch of a, a, a group of people and suggests that they are not human, that they are animal in some way. And calling someone Chihuahua in this way is doing the same thing, especially if you're coupling it with some sort of faked out uh, Mexican what? accent. Well, what's even more hurtful is they could have at least Mexicans done. They could have they're at least really done the courtesy of choosing an animal from a country that Jose actually fucking comes from. Right. Yeah, that's the whole point. He didn't choose it for that. He chooses it because Jose has Chihuahuas. Did you, you see the, the link that Maslow just posted? to Jim Pender. Uh, a California judge on Wednesday considered a request to sanction yeah, you're talking about nothing now. a discrimination lawyer for calling a Hispanic defense team a uh, a, a guard chihuahua during a trial break. So that's like a bunch of yappy. There you go. Yeah. It, is a, it is a racist term. And it's nah, determined were there a bunch law. of Chihuahua dogs in the courtroom? It, it, was, it doesn't it, matter. It was a Hispanic guy law. being called a Chihuahua. Hispanic guy being called a Chihuahua is racist. 
Dehumanizing is 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 a great area, man. I think. I was like, you're just a little angry, angry little, uh, you know, guy. That's what that's what that means, really. Swallow. No, I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm always with my a smile on my face. You're always seeing me on camera, bro. And I think but Jose I'm... has said it can mean that if you use it yes. once, or once or twice in a, in a flippant manner, it can mean that. But if you use it in the way that he's described. Then it stops meaning that, and it becomes something. Yeah, else. yeah. Well, yeah. now that I know that he thinks it's racist, like I said, not that I th give a shit about him because he showed me his true colors. I will stop calling him that. Okay. Well, actually, okay. think of how Jem's okay. example of the dehumanizing, like when you do apply it, and you're instead of saying, "Hey, you think he's Mexican, and so they have Chihuahuas," and then you're turning him into one, mm. that's totally different. Yeah, what subhuman trash mean? What subhuman trash? No, no, sure. Let's all be fair, yeah, man. I'm just saying, we know we know stereotypes can be racist, but not all stereotypes. Are, so we don't oh, want to cross that. There's people in the chat posting that certain um, people in here are subhuman. That depends. Trash. That depends yeah. on context. Well, and, and why is no one saying that anything about that? Um, I'm not looking at the why YouTube chat. Why is anybody care of that? Yeah. They're not they're looking. Let's get out the way. That. Um, can we do, Jose, have you um, done your Sticks and Shadows? Do you not want to give a shout out? You've got that experiment on, haven't you? We were getting told the other day, I thought it was Slice Barcane, but apparently it, you called in Slice Barcane to do it, didn't you? I heard you. I, I, I wanted to participate. Uh, it's cloudy here today. Today, I think, is the, the day to do it. I was busy last two days. With my sister and my niece is pregnant and i was helping them out i couldn't do anything i didn't collect anybody i was going to gather if people send me the the measurements i was going to send it all to slice park and that was all i was going to do just gather information we are whatever everybody was up this morning for the equinoctial sunrise we we of had course. brad in jose and he said that was your expert he was under the impression well that it was the, you that were doing it, this would, Jose. You this were, would, like, leading the charge for it. This would be a good chance for the Flat Earthers in here to explain to us how an equinox works on a flat Earth. I'll tell you it's magic because if you're born on the equinox, you are a balanced... The sun person. moves north and south. Have you, met, have you all measured your uh, sticks? Does, how, does, how does an equinox work on a flat Earth, Bev? Does it? Don't know. Have you measured your shadow today? Uh, no, I, I'm asking a question. I'm asking yeah. a question. Yeah, I, I don't what know. I, I, like, do you don't know. Guy, I'm not. I'm not bothered you, about. You that. don't know. You don't what know how. Have, what, Absolutely what not. Got a clue? Have, no, Brenda. I don't what care. Is this, what does this guy have to do with the shape of the ground? Yeah, Jeremy. I mean, he would tell you. Slice going to show us where, on his model when everybody really? sends him their stuff. I mean, is nobody bothered about it? Do you not care? We also have someone on Jose's show that has oh, measured yeah. on yeah. Earth a, a surveyor, certified surveyor. Jose box. has this video. Larry yeah. Scott made the video of showing how a physical object such as a cement building is following the curvature of the Earth. Uh, I don't know where this video has disappeared to, but no one seems to be able to find it. But yeah, Jose's I've an amazing told guy. You, I'll pay you a hundred bucks there, Rocky, to uh, find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you kind of copycat it. I'm, a, I'm gonna give the money to uh, Jose when someone comes up with the video. I'm gonna give Jose a uh, hundred bucks. So, um, you know, I think that video should be produced. It's a hundred dollars for Jose. We all care about him. So, well, I, I'm a man of well, I don't care about as any of this stuff. I will give that hundred dollars to Jose. Well, I given. I don't care about any of this stuff. I'm not confused about. Shepard You're not getting any money for way, it, are you, Jim? In the way, in the way that you lot are. So, so, so today's it's entirely irrelevant to me. Yeah. So today's an, so, not making so today's an, it. See if you can get a super. So chat. today's an equinox. So today's a surveyor that measured the curvature of the yeah. Earth. Yeah, surveyors know. surveyors measure uh, spherical excess yeah, all the time. Not many of them have the video like Jose does. Like, well, we, we have we have surveyors. Triangles, triangles, Brenda, do not have more than one hundred and eighty degrees. They, they do, do not. They do on the earth. No, they do not. They do on the earth. No, they do. Yes, not. they do. It can be proven. They do not. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, they do. Surveyor. They can prove it. <laughs> yes, Hold it's on. called spherical excess. Yeah. Aren't they called yeah. non-Euclidean triangles? Yes. Because the surface of of a sphere is non-Euclidean. 
But when you measure triangles, you sight mountains from mountains. That's how trigonometry works, right? Triangles. We all no. know that. Oh, my yep. God. How can you be that dumb? Well, he no, doesn't so have the junior high school height. level of geometry understanding. Do you understand no. that you're actually talking about Euclidean triangles? Uh, George Nutsack uh, uh, told us he had the 180 degree triangles, straight lines of sight. George so would you like to understand about non-Euclidean triangles then? Jim, we're talking about sighted triangle in reality. No, no yes. we're not. We're yes, we about... are. No, we we're are. not. Sighted triangles in right. reality, it, yes. In reality, on this earth, triangles will exceed 180 no. degrees. No, they, they will. Won't. They will. Right. There's Brenda, a proof. They will. No. Try connecting some cities that are far away. Yes. Wait. You're being led uh, by your religion there, Brenda. And yeah, parallel lines and, and, and plumb lines on this earth are not parallel. See, there's the yeah, dogmatic uh, uh, globe religion right there, Brenda. Yep. Get, um, where's so Doofus? How can we describe non-Euclidean Tell us how you can't do what you claim to do. Non-Euclidean geometry to you <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that you understand it. He, he doesn't. He... he, uh, he well, to begin with, he understands these differences. He lies. He's he's been shown to lie. I like how you talk without actually saying anything, Brenda. Yeah, yeah. yeah he lies. Brenda, you uh, never Bev, lied. We caught you lying. Bev Bev lies. Just say, I, what, what do I lie about, Bev. Brenda? Please go. What do you I lie, lie about? Lie about your uh, about the the understanding of uh, um, geometry. geometry. Yes, because. Do you mean I lie about I, my understanding of geometry? I, How do I, you know what my understanding of geometry is? She's telling you, you you've, you've interrupted her. It, it, telling you that. In your conversation with Fight the Flat Earth, oh, right, he, right. Led, he led you into a circle in which you Years doubled. Ago. Yes, in which you doubled back. And in my opinion, you're doubling back. He so, said. Just he a minute. Straight just lines a minute. Curve. Just a minute. And just you a minute. Not, I was in the middle of talking. I was in the middle of talking, Bev. In in the doubling back, that shows that you understood that you were wrong, but you insisted on going back and repeating something you knew to be false, which I count as a lie. Right. Well, fight the flat it's, earth it's, said it's, some. Really stupid shit back it, then. The doubling... He said straight lines curve, and oh, you guys yes, have yes. all been parroting what yes. like the flat Earth said. No, two I'm years not. Ago. No, I'd no. never heard anybody say such stupid shit in my life. I thought it was ridiculous. A, on a, it. Yes, on a. And you guys on have a, just parroted it for two years. On a sphere, a straight line is defined as the shortest distance between two points. And that is, as we said before, an arc, right? So that that's not is, straight. It is straight. It's so defined. No, an arc is not straight. It's, Bev, it's defined. Straight. If you think an, as a curved line is straight, what do you call an axis? Exactly, it's Jeremy. Defined, <laughs> it's defined straight. That's how know, math works. What do you yeah. call actual straight lines? That's what I've been saying. What's a chord Curve? and a tangent in relation to that arc that you're talking about? What, a right. tangent? Tangents yes. are on the surface, correct? So it won't apply to things that are on the surface. When you're okay, so about nothing lines that are any on vertical the surface, height applies to anything. Brilliant. Now. Well Come on, just, just stick to there. the subject. The subject is lines drawn on the surface. No. The subject yes. is yes. straight yes. lines in reality. We're talking about two different subsegments. Well, you want to keep you talking about reality and we're talking about drawing knowledge. lines on balls yeah. then, right now. Cut that out. Each other. Don't, okay. don't pick up a ball again, pretend the surface is 2D, and then draw a, a line on it. Because it's ridiculous. The surface bad is bad definition bad. 2D. The surface is a all objects. What are you talking about? Well, we gotta draw a line in free space. Oh, it's fuck me. Just oh, fucking A. Would you just get the fuck out of here? Sometimes we gotta draw a line just in free space, out. Brenda. Just yeah. get out. Stop doing Where's that, man. paper of free space, Brenda, to draw this line? Where is it? Where's the ball in space? 
Huh? Um, yeah. You're standing on it? I, I don't understand your question, Lemon. So how do you draw a line through the air or through a vacuum? Huh? It's the line. <laughs> your questions are very malformed, Lemon. See, you can't draw well, a line. One way to do space. it. One way to do it would be go to a soccer field. You need a laser, but you can't do it like you can on paper or on your fake ball. Why do you need a laser? Yeah. It's the straightest thing that travels. It travels with uh, little deviation, uh, so that's the closest absolutely thing. Absolutely shit, yeah. Brenda. A straight uh, line. Lasers are one of the worst. You don't want to be using this a laser. This is not Brenda level. talking. This is okay. Lemon talking. We present something yes. that can travel in a straighter line. Has anybody ever heard of Wolfram? Do you know what I'm talking about? The substance Wolfram? Is it in Sweden? Mathworld.wolfram. Uh-uh. Yeah. Like the uh, look, Wolfram look, look, Alpha. The Wolfram Alpha, Wolfram yeah. sent you Math a link. Calculator. Wolfram's a pretty authoritative source on math, isn't it? No. I haven't got a clue. Like, it's what sort of math are you yeah. talking about? Well, let's take a look. Let's not. Uh, read that little short paragraph there and tell me what you think of what Wolfram says about the subject. Yeah, a ball. I like that. That's what we've been talking about, right? A ball. That's what everybody says. Pick up a ball. Definitely but, 3D, right? Hey, hey, Dick, hang on, hang on. Your uh, turn there. Hey, dickhead, when you're done lying, let me know, because I'm going to respond to you. But the helio says a sphere is no, a nobody else. Thing, and nobody else, thing, shut up. No thing is a ball. Just mm -hmm. the fucking dickhead. Okay, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about sphere, which no, is you specifically guys mentioned keep saying, in here. Pick up a ball and draw a and line on it. And dickhead, we're talking about the surface. Why you keep calling her like dickhead, man? It says right there. Radically the, I, I'll do it. I'll do it if I want to, fat boy. Now, the term sphere <laughs> refers to the surface only, so the usual sphere is a two-dimensional surface. I can't make it any more fucking simple for you simpler fuckwits. Keep going. You well, shut up. It where it quit, says about a ball. Bev, quit talking when other people are talking. You're going to learn this lesson one way or another. Get to the bit with a ball. You won't be able to teach him curved. I'll Fuck money on your it. ball. We're discussing the surface of a spear. Yeah, Bev. Okay, you won't be able to read the next part. Tell everybody to stop mentioning stupid. balls and picking up balls then. I knew they were going yeah, wrong at the, the beginning. They shouldn't the have done that, should is they? Called, is, is, referred, is properly uh, termed a ball. Why the fuck are you talking about the interior? No one's talking about that, buddy. Well, Think Haven't you heard everyone field. talking about chords and stuff? Think about Tangents. an orange peel, Bev. That's more akin to what you should be thinking of. Not the entire what, chords orange, and tangents. The but you guys have just said it's not there. We shouldn't be talking about them. Curious, is there a tangent that is interior to a sphere? Is there a tangent to a two-dimensional surface of a sphere? That's a good one. No, Can that's you not have, the question. Is can there a tangent, tangent that goes into the interior a two-dimensional surface of a sphere? Take yes, Bev's evasion as a W. Is is there such a thing as a chord? Or a sphere? Well, a two-dimensional surface of a sphere. The geometrical genius yes. has been defeated yet again. I doubt it very much. Damn, Kirby, I know you do, you. because you're a retard, Bill. Fine, Kirby. Oh. Go on, let's have the answer then. Is there a tangent to your surface of a sphere? Not the ball, like, because we all know we can have a tangent to a ball. That's 3D. Can you have a tangent to your two-dimensional surface of a sphere, Curved? Absolutely. Right, okay. So it's a three-dimensional surface, why then. Why can't you? I can't believe you said yes. Well, a tangent is yeah. very theoretical. No, no, wait the a minute. tangent no, no. is perpendicular to the radius at the point of intersection with the surface it's of the two-dimensional surface, so though. There's no... Yeah, so what? There is a, a, a horizontal height to so it. So could you a, please describe the three-dimension 
combine it as yellow. It sounds sounds very no good. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Could you please describe the third dimension in this two-dimensional surface that you admitted to? Kev, go on. No, that's to you. What? The three-dimensional surface of a ball. It's dead easy. You get a ball and you put something on the top of it, right? Like a plane, right? There's the difference. That's a, You call the plane the tangent, and where it touches the three-dimensional surface of a ball, you would say that is its tangent point. The surface of the ball would curve away at every point from that tangent because it is a surface of constant curvature. So you think it's three three dimensions, three, though. 3D scares them, Bev. I know. Surfaces, by definition, don't have, don't have a third dimension. Don't have a third dimension. There's no third dimension surface. on a surface. Okay, so how do you have a tangent to a two-dimensional surface of a sphere? Non sequitur. Bev, Bev, have you ever drawn a circle before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've drawn okay. a few, yes. All right. What do you call that if you draw a straight line that intersects at a singular point on that circle? What do you call that? It in, no, it won't intersect. You can't intersect at a singular point. Under, it just touching. touches it. Yeah. There you go. Touching. What do you call it? That's the tangent, right? Because it's a straight line. There's a difference between the circle Hold and on. the straight line. Definite difference. So That's why it's called so tangent. You have, so you have so a tangent line can be drawn in a two-dimensional why are you talking so uh, slow yeah, yeah. circles are two-dimensional slow figure right yeah it's okay yeah a circle is a two-dimensional figure and you can draw it in it at one point call it that a tangent brilliant okay does yeah. that matter does the orientation of that plane matter what plane that the you draw in the circle on, that the circle's in. Paper. Does it matter the orientation? That of the that two-dimensional circle. Two-dimensional two circle, right. yes. Does so a matter? circle is two-dimensional, right? Yep. Last I check, a circle Brilliant. is Brilliant. Okay. No, so you can but draw that circle on anything, can't you? you? You're ignoring what I'm asking you. What are you asking? Go on. Does the plane, the orientation of the plane, matter? No. Does it matter to you? You're drawing it on the plane, aren't you? You're doing a circle and a straight line. Yeah, you have to draw it on a plane. Otherwise, yeah. you can't so perform you geometry. Orientate. You're not You're not really getting this, are you? No, no it doesn't matter anything <laughs> related to geometry. Stop assuming that he does. Go on. I know. Yes. It doesn't matter, doesn't the plane. Matter. You can draw it anywhere. Yeah. Upside down. As it doesn't care. A circle okay, and a so straight you... line. Yeah. You can change the orientation any which way you want, right? Yeah, you can put that line anywhere around the edge of the circle. That's yes. not what I said. Yeah. And you're still not getting it. Doesn't well, matter. Well, a circle's a circle. Do you mean what's what are you saying about? Do, do you not understand what a circle is? And a straight well, line touching oh, yeah, a circle. No, I understand. Come on, carry the on. The problem is you're not you're you're still thinking uh flat. It's two D. Yes, it's a circle. Yeah. A, two, a circle is a two-dimensional figure, right? I got that. Right, brilliant. So now we're both thinking 2D no. flat, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I've been thinking brilliant. 2D, but your problem is you, you think one-dimensional. No, no. As far as that's concerned. No, absolutely really? not. Wow. We're so both thinking 2D. Come on. Let's go. Change the orientation. No. Spirited, this is so clearly going nowhere. You're not going to educate him on this principle. Plane at one point. He doesn't We're understand that there could be a tangent going into and out of the paper as well. He doesn't understand that. He won't. No, a straight line can be produced at any length in a straight line. Yeah, it's definitely. It's like he won't describe this third Where are we dimension going? in a two-dimensional surface. Who is this? A two-dimensional um, figure is called a circle. Right, a three-dimensional uh, representation of that circle is called a sphere in geometry. That's because it's got three dimensions. It's got one extra dimension. Obviously, it's not mm -hmm. a circle, which is a two-dimensional figure. Your definition isn't quite true. 
a definition of what a circle when you, you, want me to... you take a circle and you make it three-dimensional it becomes a sphere no, it's yep. only if you fill it in if you take a wheel that's still a circle but it's not a sphere right i'm just okay. being pedantic here because your definition is lacking yeah, yeah you can make Make it like a tube of a circle, couldn't yeah, you? Like you, could a, that, um, you actually extend yeah, yeah. a circle like a cylinder. into three yeah, dimensions. I, yeah, we all understand what a circle cylinder. is. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You could have a fucking And a cylinder. straight line, right, in reality, isn't a circle, is it? There's a difference. Well, yeah, it is if you actually look at it uh, along the edge of the plane, which in it resides. Well, this is the dictionary. Tangent, a straight line or plane that touches a curve or curved surface at a point, but if extended, does not cross it at that point. A completely different line of thought or action. Blah, blah, blah. Mathematics, a trigonometric function. That is we can read it ourselves. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Don't read it. You know, other than the hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent to an angle oh, in a right. people not to read line. things out loud to us. We're all big boys. It hurts them. The reality really pains the... No. Wasn't so Jim reading of... something out loud earlier? He I was, don't yeah. think so. I think he read he like was. a fraction of it. And uh, I, I think, I think Curved that read something uh, out loud okay. as well, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, you know, if you know it, if you know it, read things. You read it, you read it out loud. Let me, let me, doesn't even know what he's reading. I think M. Scott was reading something too. Just read it out loud. Is that M. Scott? I don't think it is. I don't know. A lot of people are using his name and account. I'm curious. Do you think that reality is two dimensional or three dimensional? It's obviously three dimensional. I think I might have said that a few times. I think it's more than three dimensions, right? Absolutely not. These guys are the oh, ones trying to live in that. There is only surface. three dimensions. There's no time dimension. dimension. There's no time dimension in reality. I haven't got. No, I don't know how, how I would picture that. There is time. I've heard of time. Misleading. It's yes, not a dimension. There are more than three dimensions in reality. Uh, it, the the mental dimensions, dimensions are physical, one. physical dimensions you can go forward and backwards in, but time you can't really go backwards in. So yeah, it would be it. We're all bound by it. Dimensions. But yeah, if you want to say spatial dimensions, then yes, I would agree there's only three spatial dimensions. Brilliant. Although that, if you they're want the ones consider measure, rotational, they? if you want to oh, consider rotational man. around the axis, you could argue for more. The three Let dimensions me, consider that um, we don't of right line geometry. Let me say backward and forward, though. The mathematicians may want to graph something with four dimensions, but spatially in real life, it's kind of counterintuitive because we really don't have a time dimension we can go forward and backward in. You can't do it yeah. in reality, can you? You have a time dimension you go forward in. There's only three. But we're not talking about that. That's not, that's not a spatial dimension. Right. So you it don't may have not to. be intuitive, but that doesn't mean it, it's inaccurate. If it's yep. not intuitive, then you don't know how to think about it. If you don't know how to think about it, you have no way to explore well, whether it's true correct. or not. Yes, we can think well, of it. Yeah, draw, draw, it can be draw, it. draw four dimensions for us. Yeah. It's not you clear why you're putting it. the you constraint you you need to travel backwards. These spatial dimensions. So I've asked people to draw four dimensions for you when you're talking about yeah, time. Yeah, because it doesn't exist. You can't, you can't demonstrate oh, it. Really, you know. But you're there are people that try. Thank you. <laughs> You could draw a representation of it. Yeah, you draw <laughs> it. If the mind has no way to figure out whether it's true or false, then lies can creep in unawares. That yeah. can be very dangerous. You can imagine something and draw it, right? We're not going to. So I'm curious. Yeah, listen, we're not going to have the flat Earth side naysay imaginativeness here. Okay, let's, 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 let's not be that. Just, this is just reality. Is Don't get triggered by no. models. Or can we get um? Can we get your definition on what uh, this reality is like? Um, and and let, let me clarify the question. So we keep talking about two things, reality and then mathematics and geometry. So which one are we talking about, for example, when we Euclidean talk about straight space. lines? Okay. Euclidean. Euclidean. Yeah, that's perfect. Have you ever read the elements from Euclid? Because if you do, it, everything in there applies to reality perfectly. Perfectly. Okay, so yes, um, does a straight line perfectly? Because I've 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 heard you make a point that a straight line cannot exist on a globe. Well, let's actually apply a straight line to the terrain that we have in our actual world. So, 
uh, when I go outside, I have a lot of snow, like and those survey, snow so, right? that snow yeah. already makes a bank. And also we have, of course, terrain like uh, mountains and lakes and so on. So by try drawing a straight line, it would actually curve up and curve down. You draw so by your definition, it's, it's not a straight line, right? It doesn't sound like a straight line if it curves up and down, like you just said. Yeah. That's yeah. definitely not a straight line. So, so I'm, yeah, and this, yeah. Is, this is getting to my point. So, so my point is we are you drawing a line in reality, a line and it's not a straight line. Yeah, it is. So, so yeah, a straight wait, line wait, in wait, reality wait, wait, is wait, a straight wait. line. Okay, so... So when we are actually drawing lines in reality, it, it can like you give it permission to actually curve up and curve down your. So you're saying now no. that a straight line can curve. No, definitely not. No. OK, so so wow, so what, what you're saying is we cannot yeah, draw a straight line in reality. This no. guy. Who is it? Uh, so, would yeah. be so, yeah. I that so which, which one is it? Can we, can we draw a straight line in reality? or? Laurie, can lines, can lines, lines, actually lines, lines don't curve, mm. right? I'm not following right. Fight the Flat Earth when he says they can, right? Because I they can't. A straight okay. line wouldn't be a straight yeah. line if it curves. It would then be a curve line. I said it to Fight the Flat, yeah. fight yeah, the that's, flat that's Earth fine. ages ago. Hmm. Now you're all coming to his defense. I find it amazing. Like I don't know why, right. how we managed to do it. I'm not really going. Well, truly, I'm not really coming to anyone's. Nobody talks. I'm not sure why you why you brought up fight the flat earth because I'm not coming to anyone. Nobody else talks. Nobody else talks. He was the first one to say it to me. He was yeah, the but first. I'm, I'm just trying to I clarify. I'm, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to clarify you your line because we're talking about reality, right? And you said that lines actually uh, go up and down. So you said that they curve, but you still agree that they are, are straight lines. 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 And you said that there, are curved there you go. Lines you said in there are curved lines. Okay, are, there yes. are curved lines in there reality. So things. in reality, lines can curve. So you believe in curved lines. Yes, yeah, straight lines that's are your straight, state, and curved lines are Earth. definitely different. Laurie, Laurie, you seem God, to be God, really God, confused God. here. Really, really yeah. confused. I, so, I, so can, you, can you clarify? I, Laurie, for me, are then? you slow? You want me to clarify for you? And uh, no, I, I think that you're confused. Line. So the confusion is coming from you. I need you to clarify it. Can you clarify it for all me? I'm trying to do for you now? A straight mm -hmm. line does not curve at all, ever, in any direction, at any time. If it does, okay. So, so if I for, if I draw a line in reality, it actually line. curves. So you are saying that's not a straight line, then, right? A curved line is not a straight line. Yes, very. Thank you. So we cannot draw we straight can lines in reality. So it's mathematical theoretics where your straight lines exist. They don't exist in reality. That's my whole fucking there are point. Straight, there are straight lines in reality, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. the weakest. So where are these there. straight lines? Can you draw me yeah. a straight line in reality? Uh -huh. Horizontal, yes. Question. A horizontal. A horizontal. Line. Yes. Ev? Where have you seen this horizontal? Can you um, show me a picture through, of it, for example? Um, I can see it through the scope of my auto level. I can also see it oh. when I establish a water level. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. So, so you're talking about, for example, the surface of about, the water. I'm talking the about water, reality. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that actually isn't a straight line because the molecules actually, if you look at it, the molecular level, the molecular From structure goes up and it one goes down. So it's not other, a straight line end. on the water level. Do you want to it, take the second one... case? Because I think you were referring to horizon, hey, Laurie, the horizon, Laurie, Laurie, right? Laurie, Laurie. You ever heard of hydrostatic equilibrium? No, What's not really. Conversation? No, you haven't, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, we all know what hydrostatic. Hydrostatic, hydrostatic equilibrium is what's the relevance in this? Not all of us. Lori said he didn't. That's it's fantastic. It's a well, straight well, line. Well, so, so not like, all of us. Okay. Maybe you should ask Lori if you're traveling in a car at 80 want... miles an hour. How long does it take you to travel 80 miles? Does anybody it, it, want it sounds, to actually it know me about that you hydrostatic are equilibrium? From the question, or because we just I happy that Lori doesn't it. understand what it is. Maybe you guys should go study it. Uh, if no, 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 if, if not like equilibrium, if, talk about it. Yeah, yeah. If hydrostatic the equilibrium is, um, is the line that uh, water finds its level, I know about that. 
Brilliant. Straight line. But um, also, Mr. Lake, yeah, straight line. Here, folks. Is yeah, it straight line? Is right. it a straight line on a molecular level? Have you actually ever it's learned a molecular? It's a straight line, though, isn't it? We call it a horizontal, don't it's we? A, it's a straight line, but can you, for example, let's say Thank you, you have a... Uh, let's say, the, let's say you have balls. Yep. Let's say you have balls. Can you create uh, a straight line from balls? Like, you have don't many wa- balls. Watch out, Brenda, mate. Watch out. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's completely irre- irrelevant. I, so I can if produce you look at uh, yeah, yes, yeah. I can so, prove so let's concentrate. In, in reality, let's I concentrate can. on and this I also line. Have balls. Let's, con- yes. let's concentrate on this line about balls. So so balls actually curve up and they curve down. So when you zoom on that line, that looks a straight line the from the distance. It's, it's not 3D. actually a straight line. Yeah, you're talking now, about balls a water, in reality, a, right? The surface of a water is actually molecularly made, made balls, of, of pumps. Right. It goes up and up and down. You can talk of them as balls, the water but molecular goes up and structure down. is never... If you, if you think that what molecular structure is completely straight, you are deluded. You don't know about physics, so you should, you should get balls. out of your mathematical theoretic, theoretics and you should learn about physics. Is that what you're physics. asking? For right. yeah, yeah, we are talking about we are talking about reality. We are not talking balls. about your theoretical mathematics. So get yourself educated the about physics. Mathematics. Yeah, you get, in geometry. Get yourself you're educated about on how molecular structure works and how physics works. Yeah, you're it talking about you are balls physics. and disregarding yeah, you Euclidean geometry. Euclidean geometry, and you are not focusing on reality, which you say well, you need a reality check, sir. You need a reality but, um, check. You need Laurie, to be brought down into reality. The 2D Laurie, reality? With a circle. Be brought down into your 2D reality? Into the actual reality of this 3D space that we live in, where 3D, material structures yeah, always do, go up and they go down. And if you try to draw a line on that going up and down surface, the line will go up and down. But, Lori, if you're dealing with a circle, you're dealing with a line that will double back in on itself. A straightish line ray will never return from whence it came. So we're talking about two changes, right? Larry, up and down. Yes. Elevation changes. Yeah, and you said yeah. that curve is not a straight line. So either you have to accept that elevation changes in real life and we cannot have straight yeah, we measure, measure, you have we measure that, elevation changes. Or you have sorry. to accept that the curving straight lines are straight. And what? Straight I lines can curve. I think right. curving straight lines is being straight. No. Any curvature, I'll say it again, any curvature at all, it's not a straight line. Okay, so I will, I will give room to other people to talk, but I leave you with this Thank challenge. You. A square show is a square. A perfect, show me a perfectly straight Molecular, molecular structure. Nobody needs reality, um, yeah. a perfectly yeah. straight yeah. line, yeah. Lori. Uh, if you have a curve, yeah. Yeah. that implies that there is a straighter line that goes from one point to another than the curve. That's implied. So you just need to show that it's a curve by showing a straighter route from one place to another. And there you go. We have a straighter line compared to this curve right there. Yeah, but you're going to the you're going to geometrics. You're not talking yeah, about the molecular problem. structure. We, we need to apply. Nobody cares reality. about these for practical purposes. To get somebody to think along the right terms, all you yeah, need to do is show them a straight line. Yeah, but this is about reality, line, following Bev's reality line. line. And there you Physical go. Physical reality. Needs. Physical reality. Like right. No, you talk about the abstraction of physical reality because people cannot see the use to force They just theorize about it. It's hardly skit. In a 2D orientation, must always be straight in a three dimensional, four dimensional, or any additional dimensional orientation. Straight enough is fine. There's probably some curves on the molecular level, like you say, but going from point A to point B on the macro level, it goes there with little deviation. You also got to talk about the activity. The activity of going from point A to point B with little deviation, preferably as an extremely fast energetic form of travel, like something like light or sound that would tend not to be deviated from its path unless it's like deflected or something. And also talking about something standing on top of the surface. Something would be on a stage surface if that surface was flat not a curve so you're talking about activity here too that would tend to prefer a flat surface for standing on for support and for going from point a to point b for the most you know direct balance exactly exactly i would agree with that 
So I think, Lori, these people are smart, but they have uh, uh, become metaphysical, you know, kind of occultic mystics who aren't related their stuff back to reality. They've become very mystical, very mathematical, and extremely John, unwilling to deal with reality. Word solid and with false allegations. Yeah, they call the I'm talking about your, your, your teammates and, and stuff. No, but I, okay, it's, so it's, what? It's true. Please go someplace it's else. True. And, and true back hurts, to the question but, that's starting on the hurt, table but, uh, about when you why it is you are forcing to go forward. what grounds you're using to force that a line outside of a two-dimensional orientation must adhere to the same orientation and can't actually curve in an additional dimension. Because that leads to equivocation, which leads to unclear action, which leads to no action possible to determine if this is true or not. There's your mysticism. Well, no, that's incorrect because we actually can make it clear by actually covering how it curves in the additional dimensions and not in the original two dimensions. You make it yeah, with mysticism, and you try to induct everybody else into your uh, mystical way of thinking so that they accept that it's true with no way to verify that it's true with true standards, curve versus straight. You're just inducting more mystics into your club, but you're not really checking it against reality because you're not willing to submit to it. Look who's talking about reality. The guy who doesn't do any fucking science. Straight line versus a curve. I am not going to become a metaphysical mystic with yeah, numbers and the earth is, crap. Prove the earth is curved today to right now in about an hour or an hour, depending on where you're living in the United States, and do the freaking Eratosthenes experiment at solar noon. The Eratosthenes experiment can be done with a small local sun over a flat plane. Incorrect. More equivocation. Incorrect. Incorrect. Why don't you check your no, globe incorrect. with a laser or some incorrect. sort of straight standard? Yeah, it's the straight lines coming from the sun. What do you correct. call it an experiment? Yeah, well, it's a measurement. Good enough. You want to call it a measurement? I'm happy with that. But still, it measures the Earth and will show its curve. Do it at solar noon. You're Why don't we just Earth actually Earth. measure the Earth yeah, around we landmark? We are. No, no, no. I'm saying, why don't we go from point oh, A to point B on the ground and measure, measure those distances? Give us some uh, numbers, you know, for us to measure. Well, why don't you do it? You know, you it's too late them? for you. You're, you're in England. Right. You should have already done it. If I, show you, if I show you one of these um, things here, this is what Ruhif give us. See that? Um, which one of those you do you really think you could measure? I reckon I could measure 3.1 mil. Easy. That would be dead easy with a ruler measuring 3.1 mil, wouldn't it? Which one do you reckon you could measure? 0.78 is a bit hard. Well, have you done that or not? They do it all the time. They, it's called surveying. But you, you have to ignore that, too, because what? It's optical. So it is measurable. Yeah, definitely. That's been, you can do it. You can do it. Um, you see, about solar noon where you live right now, why don't you go out and do it yourself? Uh, We're Rocky. talking about the uh, drop from horizontal. Yeah, it's called it's called the Eratosthenes experiment or Eratosthenes measurement. No, no, no that's not no, Eratosthenes. No, 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 God, hey, no, no, NASA, no. get off of No, it's yeah, right time. one no, of your right best. Time. Lemon right didn't now. ask you for this, and you're just obfuscating. No, oh, well, then you're res very respectful to the I'm conversation. Not, I'm not aren't you? skating bullshit. I'm telling you that You're right pretending now, like you're responding to Lemon, dude, and then you just right said you don't care what I'm going to ask. Lemon said that you can't, said that you can't measure it, just, and, and that's in, untrue. Right now, as we speak, is close no, to No, he said, why coast. don't you do this with make straight lines, and basically, why they wouldn't are. we do it on the ground? And then you're jumping to the fucking sky. You're like, you can do it by jumping to the sky. No, I'm not jumping to the sky. You're doing it on the earth. You're using the sun as the measuring device. Well, you do so it. what did you so get now, sir? Have you got show us your picture? Oh, I'm sorry, right now it's not solar noon yet. And besides, oh, even right. if I show you a picture, you won't believe. Show us your setup, ready. Instance. Show us your setup. No, it's Let's really see what you've got. It's called a stick and a ruler, but you know you that's an experiment. That. We'll see something if we have similar metrics, but it doesn't even sound like you guys have a straight line to measure against. You're just that's assuming it on a ball. You're years. making your that's thesis cool. unfalsifiable, so you're very and, um, you, metaphysical. You, you could prove the Earth is flat with your Tashi's even uh, Slice Parkane had a bunch of people that were triangulating roughly to three to thousand, five thousand miles above the Earth for the um, position no. of the sun um, no, uh, no. without those outliers. No, no, they weren't. He wasn't. Off, um, he wanted the general people pattern. to send him their location and a picture. That's what Slice Parkane wanted. Yeah. 
Yeah, mm. what's wrong with that? And he actually did some science, unlike you who did don't do science. Science, science is fine, but your interpretation yeah, of the science is invalid. Before the shoddy philosophy, before the science. two points, you yes. cannot have nice. A, I like it. A flat Earth. You your your philosophy. No, your philosophy, philosophy is shoddy, no, and I think you're not accepting philosophy. shoddy philosophy yeah, philosophy because of materialist not atheism, not where you want the ball to be this I'm random a a accident in space. So I think oh, right. that uh, your um, uh, ph uh, philosophy oh, is shading no. your interpretation no, no, no. in very no, no, no. Uh, no, very inconsistent. About, look who's talking about philosophy interpreting science, Mr. Lemonbird himself. Who knows nothing about optics or anything and says the earth is flat. I have common sense. That's all I really that's need. Not, I mean, I could study like anything. you and become philosophically compromised to the point where that's I accept bogus crap. Compromised, called the ad populum consensus. Good. That's not going to do either. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know and common I sense to cut actually, through that. You might actually learn something, find out the thing that there are facts and you have, you can't ignore them. Yeah, over a flat plane, yeah. I, I lost some points. facts over a flat more three points. No, more than three points, the Eratosthenes experiment cannot be a flat Earth. Two points, you could delude yourself. But you do three points, and it cannot be a flat Earth. You're implying that you'd have perfect triangulation. That's impossible. Yeah, One with a fraction no, over a flat good. plane. Hey, and number two, with perspective, making it so that eventually uh, no, you're able to fight the same object unless it moves around. And so you um, have some bad principles what? there, Jack. I'm no, sorry. Correct. No, sorry. You were wrong. Wait. You don't. You have to just throw shit against the screen until you find something that sticks, right? I, I haven't heard about refraction yet. Come on, tell me about refraction let, now. Let, let it happens over a flat plane. Um, no, let, refraction doesn't matter in the Eratosthenes experiment, but it's a good try. Lemonbird, how does perspective affect a shadow? Yeah, he doesn't know. That's right, your feet. Um, the shadow would lengthen in different areas depending on the proximity of the small local sun. Uh, You're looking below eye level. God. Uh, how does, there's how a small local sum. No, no, so it's not small nor local. When you stick a ruler on the ground to measure the shadow, how does perspective come into play? Because you said it was perspective uh, as one of your excuses on why it wouldn't work on a on an object other than a flat plane. Um, depending on whether the sun's local or far, the shadow will lengthen or contract or whatever. Yeah, I got that. How does perspective affect the ruler, the, the measurement of the shadow? The shadow itself? It wouldn't affect the shadow, no. Okay, so exactly. that excuse is out then, right? No. The thing is, Eratosthenes didn't Which just do that. Dude? He assumed he was on a ball for his uh, ratio to, uh, uh, to get the circumference of the round earth when he could have gotten a local Sun triangulating to the sky. Yeah, he couldn't have gotten with the uh, erroneous yeah. assumption that the Earth was a ball to get similar um, uh, angles, uh, similar angles to approximate the circumference of the Earth. So you're forgetting about the additional um, uh, assumption no. that Eratosthenes made assumption. that was not justified. With three, points, really? Levin, with three points, you do not have to make that assumption. You can prove it's it's too bad we don't have someone that has. Publish this data anywhere. Yeah, right, yeah no, nobody's ever. Oh, we've done. We've done Eratosthenes on a flat surface. We've you have done not. Eratosthenes on Jeremy. a flat surface. If, Jeremy, you're just um, presupposing. Jeremy, you're talking the whole way through me. It's over noon where you are. You actually got. You could do in your measurement to prove the Earth is not flat. Okay, we've done Eratosthenes on a flat surface. You're just presupposing uh, what the sky. Are you going to talk every no. time I talk? He, he is. He is. He can't help it. So from now on, when you're answering, talk right over him with the shitty moderation in this room and with his lack of self-control. No, you got to stop. He's telling guy, everybody, including the the NASA pitch show, you get this way for people to finish. That way, they everybody gets the opportunity to speak. Finally, you step in. I mean, don't do that. Go ahead, Jeremy. We've done Eratosthenes on a flat surface. You're, you're just presupposing what the sky is at Hold this on. point. That's Real incorrect. Quick, it Three match. points. You cannot have a flat that... plane. Hold on. Can we, we see we got your, got your Eratosthenes on a flat match. surface, please? We got the three points to match up. I'll, I'll link it in the chat in one second. We got the three points to match up. When you don't, when you don't presuppose what the sky is. Incorrect. Can, can you show us? Yeah. Hold on. I'll post it in the chat right now. Thanks. Uh, just out of curiosity, like how far away was the light source from the table? Well, is he going to show the table thing again? Hold on, he's. We he... don't know. We have to wait for him to post it. 
Hello, I have a yeah, feeling right it's going to be... Yeah. Gonna be I, mean, I think the, the thing is, Eratosthenes can work on a flat surface, it can work on a curved surface. So the question is, what do you get when you measure it on the Earth? That's the question. Yeah, yeah the question is, yeah, exactly. If, they, if he's going to show the table thing, this is such a fucked up experiment, well, I mean, because it, all four of these points will point back to the light source. Right, it just verifies that it can be done on a flat surface. Yeah, there, so there, there are, are the other results. issues. Yeah. So you don't need the video then? Oh no! Show well, it to yeah, me. Yeah, still show it to us, please. The results but, I mean, you get on just Earth commenting on not correlate with the flat plane. And also, since you're dealing with the sun that's circling over the flat plane, you can triangulate roughly at one time at you know in like two to four hours. But in a couple hours, you're going to need a new triangulation for the new position of the sun. You guys try to get over this with a huge amount of wiggle room with a huge you know sun with relatively parallel rays, but philosophically, that is unjustified. Is not unjustified. It's totally true, and you know. Saying, it. saying it's philosophically not, means nothing. Yeah, it's not that it's unjustified. It's just a fancy way of of saying oh, you have a way to find out the truth in a consistent way. You no, can't guy. if you don't even have a real size on the sun. If it looks like the sun is smaller than the Earth and actually appears to be that way, based off of sailors at sea saying we get Lahaina noon for about thirty miles under the sun, and then after we're out about thirty-two miles ish, we start to get a shadow, implying that we're thirty-two miles directly under the sun, and then after that we start to get a shadow. No, I'm trying to so address your last point. Yeah, I'm trying to address That's your last point. You're making another new point all of a sudden, but your last point about the the sun being out of position in a few hours, and so you can't find its position if you do that. Yeah, that'd be true if the Earth were flat. If the Earth were flat, then and, uh, you wouldn't be able, be able to use this method several hours later to find the position of it. This method, though, on the globe Earth is not used to find its position, and so that's not relevant. It's used to, uh, to determine the, 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 the shape of the Earth and the size of the Earth. So you need to justify the pillars of your position, Kosho. You need to show curvature. You haven't done that. You need to show that NASA is trustworthy. We can't even do that. You need to show that the lenses aren't curving and distorting the image to give you a fake curved horizon. You haven't done that. And you need to show that your understanding of perspective uh, with the floor ramping up to the level of the eyes is adequate and consistent as opposed to you assuming that a ball is ramping up toward the level of the eyes to obstruct what's beyond. You haven't done that either. You haven't heard everything you just philosophy said is wrong. that can be dismissed. Everything you just said is wrong, Lemonberg. Yeah, why are you jumping from topic to topic, man? We're talking because about one thing. Because that's the only thing he's got. He's got the, he's got the, the obfuscators. Because all they're going to do is say, nah, uh you're not smart enough. You're not from NASA. Yeah, I don't even know. You're not part of our clique. We're not going to listen to you anyway. So you get down over more. them for the people that are actually going to listen with open yeah, eyes and ears. I didn't address it, Lemon. You have no I'm proof sticking to the same conversation you were having. Oh, so even when you address it, you don't even address it directly. You just obfuscate some more. I'll, I'll, I'll address it correctly one more time, control. Lemon. You just said if you move, if you uh, change four hours ahead, you can't find the position of the sun because uh, because you're going to get different uh, data, so it's, you can't use that. That's not you. It's not how it's used, anyways. So it doesn't matter. It's not used to find the position of the sun. You're using the fact that you know what the position of the sun is, uh, aka the subsolar point, and your distance from that subsolar point to determine the size and shape of the Earth. This is what that method's used for. Tosha's correct on this point. But you can't triangulate if you're in the night section of the Earth or if you're too far away from the subsolar point. So it's the point still stands, Tosha. You can't use the sun oh. to find our position at nighttime? No, Lemonberg. Please you're tell me outside of the visual range of the thing. Tell me, Lemonberg. You can't Lemonberg. triangulate you can't to something that you can't see. I didn't know that. Oh, my God. This is sci breaking science here. Hold on. I actually agree with Lemonbird. We cannot use the sun at night to find our position. I agree with you, Lemonbird. And with refraction much. over a flat plane, you need to triangulate ideally as close to noon as possible with positions that are as close to the sun and its noon position. Uh, Otherwise, you're going to get right, refractive right. effects that have are going to throw off your result, too. So all I hear is a bunch of bad philosophy no, all, all from the folks backed up by you, will, you, backed you, up by atheism, and backed no, up by... No, make your you point, that way people can respond to the point. You're going to obfuscate, I'm going to get scallop all over you. No one's not going to do that. Although, I, I will agree with you, Lemon Bird, we cannot use the sun at night. I will agree with you, it's breaking science. Well, when you said about the refraction, uh, that local solar noon, uh, I mean, at the at the um, subsolar point, there's no refraction. At your, your local solar noon, there's not going to be that much refraction. The most refraction you're going to get, it's going to move the sun out of position, it'll be a half a degree. 
and that's the maximum. It's going to be very much closer to zero. But if you allow for half a degree um, out of position, uh, you're Is everyone okay? I haven't did uh, everything. Everything's kind of cut with my computer. Kosha just like cut off, right? Yeah, I think so. I thought it was my computer actually. Earth to Kosha, are you there?